to the Friday Night Paper Fight. I'm Serge, joined tonight by Zatoishi, the Blind Samurai, and a dead guy. What a great intro. Please, dead guy is my father. <laughs> and I'm, I'm a corpse. I'm clearly not a Zatoishi. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. You I can was... wreck some people with a katana. No, I was supposed to bring uh, Sandra Bullock, but I accidentally brought Bird Box. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Bummer. <laughs> hey, what up, everybody? Welcome to some Canadian Highlander Night here at the Loading Ready, bleh, Loading Ready Run channel. We're very excited to be here. We have more people for Highlander. So Wheeler and I got to do a Highlander Night, I don't know, like seven months ago. I don't even know what time is anymore, where we just jammed over and over and over. And tonight, we've decided to expand it to include a Ben. And in the other room, we've also got a Nelson. And we're going to do a little... I don't know, there's not really any structure, just, you know, a bunch of pals jamming some games and having a great time. But first, let's do some business stuff. Reminder that the Friday Night Paper Fight is brought to you by you with your support over at the Patreon at patreon.com slash loadingreadyrun. You did this, and thank you very much for that. And also, Friday Night Paper Fight is brought to you in part by the wonderful people at Card Kingdom. Cardkingdom.com slash LRR, that's an affiliate code, it lets us know that we sent you and if you ask very politely for a button, you'll get a button that says, I foretold you so. It's a good button. It's a good button. <laughs> it's a good button. Also, apparently, due to extremely high popular demand, we got a reprint cycle coming up once these sold out that says, uh, you're brainstorming wrong, and you're welcome. Not that mm. I had anything personal to do with that, but... You said, you're brainstorming wrong, so you're welcome. You're oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> It's like, yeah. we just have a button that says, you're welcome. Well, that'd be great. That's, yeah. that's very, very magic player. You're you, brainstorming wrong, and you're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just yeah. letting you know. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. You don't have to thank me, wrong. but... Yeah. Thank me later. <laughs> Where's your fetch? <laughs> I don't have much else to say right now, other than I'm really excited, and I'm. you two probably want to slam, right? I mean, I've, yeah, I haven't played Highlander in forever. Wheeler built me a deck. What, uh, are, you, what are you playing tonight? Uh, I am mono green. I'm stomp. I, I, I just wanted to play stomp down. Mm. Like I, I just wanted to play a small guy, which makes a gets into bigger guy <laughs> quick fast. Um, that's that's all I wanted to. I'm I'm really changing my my personality. Oh, I'm no yeah, longer yeah. a mono red aggro player. <laughs> Uh, just, you know, I need to diversify a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2020 green cards. Yeah, so they'll exactly. do that to you. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I can't, I can't. At, the start, at the start of the quarantine, was feeling yeah. very high on red. Coming out of the quarantine, uh, not so much. I think I'm a little bit higher on green. That's fair. What about you, Wheeler? Um, I'm playing a Jeskai Artifact mid range deck. It's not exactly Affinity. Okay. But my hand is very gas, so it's going to seem like I'm lying. Yeah, I'm looking at your teeth. hand and I'm like, that's a that's a deck that I think I'd bring. Yeah, I'm not on like Arcbound Workers. I have a Brig, uh, Brig Bane. Hey, yeah. how are you doing? I have a big brain <laughs> explanation uh, behind it, but then I'm going to invalidate it a by... A Brig Brain. Yeah. All right. All right, real quick, welcome Raiders. You're here just in time. Uh, we did a die roll ahead of time. Wheeler, I believe, won. Yes. You both got sevens? Yes. Yeah. Fight! Good luck, have fun. Glad to be here. A great furnace. Uh-oh. Not just a good furnace. Yeah, a great, great furnace. A Memnite. See, this is totally uh, a me deck. No, no, no. So I have zero mana artifact creatures in here because they effectively act like Llanowar Elves. Okay. Uh, because they will add additional mana. I'll play for X and Walker. I, I, we're, you're three for three so far but, in a Surge deck. But I'm not playing Arcbound Worker or like uh, Hover Mirror or any bad cards. What? I'm in, uh, so I'll play them. Rude. And then I'll pass. Okay. Hover Mirror's the heart of the deck. Yeah, it seems pretty good. These sleeves are so fresh, my guy. Mm. <laughs> I'm so worried I'm gonna like uh, slip these sleeves. All right, I'm gonna play, I, I have no idea why Snow's in the deck, so I'm excited to find that out. Uh, I don't have nearly as many cards to play on, uh, on my turn, but I have an Elves, so I'm gonna pass. Yeah. God, I'm so excited for Highlander. Just look at this! Look at these turn ones! I mean, I realize like Elf Go isn't that exciting, but it's a beta elf! It's a beta elf! It's a beta yeah, elf! It's a, beta it's a snow elf. land? Hold yeah. on, it's a beta signed elf. Yeah, alright, alright. Let's, all right, let's all right. get it right. Now, you saw my hand, right? Uh huh. Yeah, well, this yeah, is, this yeah, is yeah. what I did. <laughs> my dude! Okay, well, signed by the actual elf. Oh, cool! Alright, all right, now we're getting real. Now we're getting real. That's tapping for four? Yeah. On turn two. Yeah. Alright. Um, mid range, eh? It, <laughs> it is. Shut up, <laughs> please. Oh, sorry, that was rude. Um, 
Dude, please shut, shut up. up. <laughs> yeah, please, please, please. Uh, I'm gonna tap for four mana. Yep. I'm gonna play Plunder Major. Okay. <laughs> when <laughs> Trinket Mage. Das Plunder Major. Yeah, Das Plunder Major. Uh, I'm sorry. Is that uh, a storm count there, Wheeler? No, no it's that's floating mana. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, but I don't know. <laughs> but storm is one. Thank you for um, asking. It's both. Uh, Why not right. both? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, no low stops. Hmm. Hmm. What did I put in this deck? Yeah, this is a very uh, slow start for me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Probably gonna want to do something if you want this deck to be competitive. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, I'll get Expedition Map. All right, all right. Uh, I'm gonna play Expedition Map. Okie doke. I'm going to suit up this Phyrexian Walker. Oh! <laughs> and I'll attack you for two. What's the question? All oh, right, you had uh, spare mana. Uh, yeah, I'll take two. Uh, go. <laughs> Skull Clamp, eh? How many cards you got in hand? Uh, two. Two. Alrighty. Uh, I will play a Muda Vault. Mm hmm And, yeah, I don't know. I think the best way to go is probably, I'm going to play this uh, Outland Liberator. I'm just going to crack it and kill your Skull Clamp. Yeah, that's a good one. So two mana, one, and sacrifice to destroy target artifact or enchantment. Very cool. Uh, pass. They put a Bosley in green. Yeah, it was the, that's the sickest three mana uh, <laughs> naturalize I've ever played. Sometimes. You know what? You're pretty happy. You're yeah. like, yeah, worth. Ooh. It's now also day. Oh, yeah. That's important. It is worth to keep track of that. Oh. I, I wasn't planning on having a day-night thing. Sorry. <laughs> well, it's permanent magic. Yeah. For every overlay, you need to have day. You need to have monarch. You need to have city's blessing. You need to have dungeons. So you many need... buttons. I know. <laughs> Wizards is really, really not thinking of the uh, the streamer. Just wait until they make dungeons that are specific about whether or not it's day or night. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Uh, I'll add four, mm -hmm. and then I'll crack. Floating two blue. As a side note, I do recall the like official WotC game that they, I guess they didn't realize that Infect was going to be a thing. And so like <laughs> somebody played something with Infect, and you could see it was like a little, like, green number overlay mm. and then like the next game they, it was like a little bit nicer and then the next <laughs> game it was a little nicer like they were fast changing the overlay yeah all right i haven't really oh. had a chance to play against urza's saga much this is going to be fascinating well i'm not playing black lotus so it's not busted in half which is nice but it's just normal busted it's also not an artifact yeah mm -hmm. I mean, it synergizes with it, but man, can you imagine if it was an artifact land? If they throw artifact <laughs> and enchantment land saga, that'd be, uh, yeah. Uh, trigger? Yeah. Uh, I can now add for colorless. Sick. Uh, I'm going to use this colorless to play. Ah. Yeah. <clears throat> and I'm going to use the two floating to play Steel Overseer. Yeah. And I would like to beep beep for four. Yeah. And I honk honk a card. I'll take four. Go ahead. Mid range. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Let's see here. It's okay. You just play a four, like anything with four toughness, and the deck shuts down. Let's see here. Mm. Should have looked through this deck first. If you want, you can think. I have a good story about this Bowman. Hold on, I have here. sort of like a legend of yeah. cards. Yeah. Of the Japanese, or the Dorm. German cards that are in here. I don't know if any of these are ones that I want right now. I like it. Anytime you ask Wheeler for a list, he's like, and here's a pictogram of all the cards you won't be able to read and what they do. Yeah, it's like, I know I know these cards are just like, what is actually in this deck? <laughs> I, thought, uh, I thought about putting some like really basic cards on there, just mm -hmm. like, oh, honey, look, this is a wasteland. Yeah. <laughs> Um, all right, uh, I will play Forest. Mm. Um, oh no. <laughs> I'll allow it. Thank you. I think I'm just going to play Thrash and Bronodon. And pass. Oh, Ooh. Thrashy B. Like, that's a big booty. Got a big booty. So I call it booty, big booty. booty. 
uh, draw Urza Saga trigger. Yep. Uh, I'm going to play a Seat of the Synod, or Sits der Synod. <laughs> uh, I would like to go to combat. God, this game is so different without that skull clamp to worry about. I mean, the courier is like part of it. Um, I'm going to pay. Eh. Should have done this differently, huh? Well, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to pay two and make a construct. Or a construct yep. before damage. So it's currently one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I eight. guess I. It's an eight, eight. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, and then I'm gonna activate this. Okay. And put a one, one counter on everything. So I'll, it's a one. I yes. I'm also gonna crack. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Wait, I did this wrong. I'm supposed to do it like that. Is that okay? Yeah, go for it. Great, and then I'll crack. This. The lowest of stakes. Okay, <laughs> so just to double check everything, the Brontodon is blocking the Bomat Courier. Mm -hmm. Before damage, it's being sacrificed. Yes. All right. Yeah. And so, then the, there's only one unblocked creature, which will be getting in for one. Yeah, I played the Sea of the Cyanon, which caused me to tilt. But what I'm doing, what I'm <laughs> seeing, yeah, what I'm, I saw the name and haha, <laughs> German. Uh, <laughs> Seat yeah, I was supposed to play this one instead, but all right, everything's uh, fine here. Yeah, all right, so yeah. this is this is yeah. tapped, and then that's all going to happen. So you yeah. discard your land, sack it. Yeah. I discard my card from my hand. Yeah. I have to pay a red to do this, and yeah. then I get these two back yeah. into my hand. All right, combat damage. Ben takes one, goes to thirteen. Ben takes one. I'm going to adjust this die and also put a counter on it in just a hot second. Um, well, uh, I'm going to play a mana crypt. All right, and I'm going to play Scrappy T. All right, and yeah. I will. Pass mm. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's still an eight. eight. A, but, a ah, donk. Hmm. Things were things were actually pretty Gucci until the scrap trawler showed up. Uh, mm. Yeah. Now you're like, I need two disenchants. If I had a nickel for every time I've heard that. <laughs> I forgot how powerful this format was. Welcome back, baby! Yeah. Welcome back. There's a reason we call it powerful magic. Um, the first can lander, like paper can lander event I played uh, in a while, I played like a four color, like mid rangey kind of Sandy B deck. Yep. And I had like zero Modern Horizons cards in it. And I was like, what the hell am I doing with my life? <laughs> like, I got for a Yeah. This is also sort of so I can just like look through my. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Your only legal targets are um, snow covered forest. Yeah. Uh, bayou. Yeah. An overgrown tomb. Yeah. Uh, and Yavi Maya, Cradle of Growth, if you slip me a five. What do you have in your graveyard right now? <clears throat> uh, I have a Skull Clamp Expedition Map, Arid Mesa, and a Bomat Career. I have Artifact, Creature, and Land. Cool. Um. I forgot to ask, by the way, Paul, do we have a coin flip thing? <laughs> <laughs> we can just roll a die. <laughs> no, yeah. we don't. Oh, poor Paul. Um, it's going to make my dungeon really saying. awkward. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> well, no, it is. All right, I'll grab a horse. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, I'm actually not going to shuffle because I'm going to go right back in there. Mm. Uh, I'm going to cast... Uh, Eldritch Evolution. Oh! Which I will anywhere else. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to go grab Endurance. Oh. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to shuffle your graveyard back in your elf library. Yeah. Oh! Oh, little little way to get around that scrap trawler. I think that was okay. All right, all right, all right. I yeah. like that line. So yeah, Eldritch Evolution is a tutor sacrificing the Llanowar Elf to get the. Oh, three it's drop. on the bottom. Sorry. Yeah, 
It isn't shuffle. It's on the bottom of your lap. All right. Uh, we had an Aaron Mesa. Aaron we had Mesa, a Soul Clamp. Expedition Map and Bow Mac Courier. You got it. Yeah. We can get those four cards. Not a huge deal. Yeah. That's a good point. That's... I mean, it's better for me, honestly, that they're down there. That's when Wheeler just turns up the top four cards of his deck, and it's those four. <laughs> uh -huh, uh, that's weird. Uh, How'd that happen? Yeah, you're there. This is the actual, factual first time I've ever resolved an endurance. So I mean, all the new elemental it. incarnations, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Look at that. And that game state has been repaired. Uh, right. But then, we're gonna forget about the saga. Um. Boy, this is, yeah, you came out swinging. I'm in a pretty rough spot here. Would you like to cut my library? I illegally shuffled. What? He's got the deck offered for you, too. No, no, you know, no <laughs> wheeler, bad. Huh? Is this top <laughs> or bottom? Uh, bottom, sure. Huh. Would you like to cut the pile of stuff I shuffled off of Endurance? <laughs> it's all good. Okay. So Urza's talk is that you can go tutor back something up, right? Uh, if it has CMC zero or one, Right, so you can just go get. Shit. If you want to, you can not endurance. I know what the bottom four cards of uh, my deck are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's okay. Um, yeah, I'll just pass. Uh, and Ben continues to assemble an army of booties. Mm -hmm. So odd, I take damage. Sure. Or sorry, even I don't take damage. I'll take odd that you take damage. Okay. I went with even because I'm never going to roll odd, so it seems weird to explain it if it's not going to happen <laughs> yeah. ever. Yeah. Um, I go to draw. I've got this Urza Saga thing I want to do. Trigger on the, spawn, uh, on the stack. I'd like to make another construct. Yep. And then I would like to... Yeah have this die and I find an artifact with mana cost zero or one. Hmm. Uh, I definitely thought endurance was the way to go there, but then yeah, seeing afterwards that uh, Saga can go grab skull clamp again. <laughs> I don't even know if I want clamp. That's the thing. I think I want this car. Oh. <laughs> the confidence I'll there. I'll play properly. What is this? It's Retrofitter Foundry, the best card you're not playing. All right, let me let me read it out loud while you shuffle. One mana artifact, three to untap, two and tap to create a 1-1 one, one colorless Zervo creature token, one and sack a Servo to give you a 1-1 one, one flying Thopter, and tap and sack a Thopter to get a 4-4 four, four construct. And you've got how much mana? Uh, well, oh, right heck. now. <laughs> All right, okay. Lot. All right, neat. Um... I would like to... So does Urza put that in your hand? No, or in... it just goes into play. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a really... <laughs> yeah. What? It's yeah. a messed up play. Yeah. Sorry? Yeah. yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm okay. Uh, I'd like to cast Mirror Enforcer. Yep. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, can you... Shuffle your your uh, board is just a little off though. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Terribly sorry. You got my big boy in there. No, I'm here in force is still too wide. Keep oh, going, keep yeah, going, keep going. Got, go. <laughs> I can't. They made him skinny in the reprints, and uh, honestly, it's a large lad erasure. And I, uh, and I would like to go to combat. Yeah, you got it. That can't attack, but this one sure can, and this one can, and 12. Ooh. I would like to attack with all of these. Okay. Uh, we'll go like, z uh, hold on. Uh, I'm gonna make you to vault. Mm. Mm -hmm. Like so. Okay. 
uh, before <coughs> damage. Yeah. I'm going to pay two to make a thopter. Uh, a colorless one, right? Or a servo. Servo. Whew. I haven't done this like fair. All right. So, like for a non infinite amount. Uh, I'm going to add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 mm -hmm. to my pool. Uh, I'm going to pay 3 to untap it. Mm -hmm. So I go to 8. Pay 2 to make another one. So I go to 6. Uh, pay three to untap it, uh, so I go to three. Yep. Uh, pay two to make another servo, and then I'd like to activate my steel overseer. Put counters on. I need more every, d6s here. Everything. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I would like to pass priority. Sure. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll crack this and shoot your overseer. Sure. Uh, overseer is <coughs> dead. Uh, So this gets a counter but ends up dying. Oh, yeah. I'm going to skip this one up because you're just getting your overseer back off of the trawler. Uh, trawler no, because the trawler doesn't die here. Oh, it yeah. doesn't. You're yeah. right. Yeah. I'm at twenty. <laughs> I mean. You might still be able to win from this. Yeah. That green deck's no joke. OK. Uh, I will pass <laughs> the turn. And then I'll adjust some of these totals, I guess. One time natural order? Uh, nope. Uh, yeah. Let's okay. do game two. Okay. All right. That was tough. I think I just didn't choose the right targets, but there was just too many. Yeah, yeah. that I was didn't. really tough for that one. <laughs> Out of curiosity, just check real quick. Are you playing Bane of Progress? No. Just, no, no. No, <laughs> no I looked through. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I wanted to know if, uh, if Wheeler included a hoser to his own deck there. Yeah, I mean, well, that was the thing. I mean, I played, I, I had several creatures that uh, just destroy artifacts and stuff. It was just an Too many slot. artifacts, yeah. Yep. I think uh, Wheeler kind of drew the nut. Yes. So. Yeah. That yeah. Is genu but, genuinely that's not, magic, though. Yeah. yeah, genuinely not indicative of this deck. No. Uh, I think uh, it, was, it was more so that I probably should have just went, like, on the, on the Skull Clamp and on Urza Saga, but... You, but then it's just like I couldn't keep up with it because then you got to steal overseer. You yeah. Got this, and there's just there was just way too many targets. Overseer is a giant must kill. Yeah. Yeah. I think I like, for what it's worth, I think I like, um, evoing into, either Rex Age or just Eternal Witness to get back the Outland Liberator, because you can just with Thrashy B in the Outland, especially like they might even be better than Rex Age. Because they get to soak a big idiot and then blow up the thing that is making what I'm doing broken. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Rex Age was on like the top, but it was again. It's just like if I, you have any any of the things that were going on in there, you have a scrap troller. Yeah, on, yeah. on field, right? So yeah. there was just like it, any anything that I destroy, if I block or yeah. I kill it yeah. or anything, yeah. like it's just kind of coming back. So you had an engine, and that's okay. But now that you're on the play, <laughs> now the game Maybe. truly begins. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. But yeah, this build is trying to be more resilient, like this one. Yeah, because what I'm, I mean, in versions, I love this archetype. Mm -hmm. And in the past, I've gone all in trying to do that every single game. And that is not sustainable. No, no. That is not yeah. sustainable. You get board wiped and then you're done, right? It's like, yeah. If, if... Well, or you don't hit an anthem. You don't hit one of those key cards. Sure. And then all you have is a Memnite and a Phyrexian Walker. <laughs> and you're like, cool, one one. <laughs> I got really excited because I thought it was a two lander, but it's one of the lands that is representing a different spell. Oh, no. no. <laughs> it's Ranger's class. Oh, I forgot to take that out. That should be Timbermere. Oh, should it? Yeah. All right, let's oh, do wait, that now. So are the, do those cards not make it in, or is there more than 100 cards in that deck? No, there's 100 <clears throat> cards in that deck. Oh. It's just, uh, Paul, uh, could we add a single Timbermare <laughs> to the deck? Uh, T-I-M-B-E-R-M-A-R-E. -E Mickey uh, Mouse. Planar Chaos. Mickey Mouse. I forgot my horse. So, question about this green deck. Is this medium green? Is this just like green aggro? What do we, what do, what do, uh, how do we describe this? So, like Magic in 2021, I don't think Black Lotus into Leatherback Bailoff is good enough. That's fair. But I think, like, turn two Leatherback Bailoff, 
that if it dies, you're like, well, I still have magic to play. Mm -hmm. It's pretty scary. Like, I, I think I called that deck 2020 green cards unironically. <laughs> Because it's like the mono green version. Uh, there's one in standard or um, uh, alchemy, um, where it's just like there are these green. Sorry, do you want me to cut? No, that's fine. Okay. There are these green cards that are just they're so good. They're really aggressive, but they're yep. really hard to kill. So yep. it's like questing beast, Eska chair, Eska's chariot, yep. uh, steel leaf champion. Ooh. All right. So you're keeping your seven? Uh, yeah. <laughs> thought I, I thought I knew. All right, what is this again? Yeah. If it's not on that list. I don't think it is. Uh-oh, hold on. You want, you, want, you want to pass it over to me, the judge, and I'll, I'll put it on the phone for you? I'm hoping this is the spell. I S think it is. Search will probably know what it is. Oh, crap. Yeah, I have no idea. Because yeah. it's, 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 a, yeah. it's a mystic. Yeah. Oh, snakeskin, or, uh, I mean... <laughs> Gazuntite. Gazuntite. All right. I cool. didn't know what to do. I yeah, was just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah, there's yeah, no. I don't. I don't know all the all arts for those. The yeah. Uh, yeah, the Japanese alternate art mystical archives, which is both not in English and unrecognizable just, art. Yeah. Uh, is that a keepable seven? Well, I mean, it would it would be a six because I had mold. I, there, there's an illegal seven. card in the deck. Yeah, you can keep seven, or you could keep. You should sure. keep seven, but you have to turn one of those cards into a timber mare. <laughs> <laughs> what if it's? Can I turn the timber mare back into a land? <laughs> I'll, I'll, no, okay, but we good. But yeah. I'll allow it to be a ten ten. Sick. Uh, all right, let's go. We fight. When we fight. Yes. Uh, this dark war path is going to come in as a green. Mm -hmm. And then uh, no higher. Yep. That's a spicy start. So what I had last time. Well, well, well. What have we here? If it isn't. Razor Tide Bridge. <laughs> Go. All right. Um, well. I thought I'd. Schlangen Holzschleißer? What? Got too many German cards in this deck, my man. Um, uh, or Russian cards uh, and Japanese cards. And well, they didn't. <laughs> yeah, this is a very, this is a very classic Highlander <laughs> troll problem, unintentional troll problem. Where like, yeah, I'll lend you a deck, and none of them are in English. Yeah, that's why I print out the guides. <laughs> if I'm giving it to my friends, I I'll know, give them a I translation. Know, but it's like I know what all the cards. Oh, do yeah. Th this, you know? There's a mental overhead yeah. that just makes yeah. it harder. Yeah. Um. Well, yeah, that's why I use them in tournaments. <laughs> uh, Paul, play the laugh track, please, <laughs> and then the disclaimer that I'm lying. Of course, that's uh, bad form. Oh my. Oh. I would put the plant onto the battlefield. That is yes. a good. Miss a good voice. start for turn two. You got plants. Yeah, but I miss another land. Oh. Good. Hmm. I mean, now you have the excuse for, you know, not reading the cards. <laughs> when they're in English, I mean, people still don't read them, but... Scalding time. I'd yep. like to fetch. Are the tokens of German too? No, it's just regular plant. I think I have a couple of... Can you just scoot that guy onto a little more onto camera? Here. All right. Oh. So... Recommendation after we should put sidelines. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah the, the little crop marks in the corner came out way too dark. On the mm. Oh, there they are. Yeah, I mean, I see it now. <laughs> All these ancient Sumerian cards are really throwing me off my game. Sorry, I'm randomizing my deck. That's okay. Would you like There's to There's a cut? lot of cards to go through. <laughs> yeah. Mana Crypt? Yep. Uh, Sahili. Sublime oh. Artificer. Very okay. different starts from both players. I would like to cast a Lotus Petal. Trigger. Okay. And now behold them. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm, I'm floating a colorless petal. BT dubs. 
Okay, I thought I <clears throat> shuffled the servos into my deck. Um, one, two, three, four. Frogmite. Sick. Dude, this is just my list. I don't know what you're saying. Don't make me crack this lotus petal for a ponder, because I will, just all to right, prove right, a point. All right, all right. Uh, go ahead. Keep. No. <laughs> Sir, your deck has Frogmite. This is Frogmit. Oh, okay, <laughs> sorry. All right, they're, they're close, you know. Yeah. Um. It's a nice Frogmite you got there. You can make some good frog mitts out of that guy. <gasps> Paul. Let's go. Cards in hand? Three. Cool. Uh, I think I just want to... Uh, play the Hydra. Oh, <laughs> that's a big boy. Uh, so it'll get two counters. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to fight your might. 20, 20 green cards. My might! Uh, I will attack with this plant exalted trigger uh, at Sahili. Man's got moves. Uh, Sahili goes to four. Okay. Uh, not pass. I should uh, tick up my plant, friend here. Plant. Plant. <laughs> plant. 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 Um, so, uh, actually, I'll use this dice because this is red and has a four, and I'm about to roll a four, which would be even, which means no damage. Right. Oh, sorry, I rolled You didn't a roll a four, so I think you take damage in this instance. All right. Uh, I'll allow it. Mark <laughs> me, <laughs> mark me <laughs> Otherwise, you're 10. a liar. And Yeah, mark me minus ten, please. Uh, I'm going to cast Ponder. Trigger. You got it. So, Healy, I'm going to have to ask you to stop ooh. that. <laughs> <laughs> she good. I'm going to keep it like <sighs> Yowza. I like yeah. the confidence in the middle the immediate oh no. Yeah. <laughs> on that ponder there. She's sublime. Uh I'm gonna play Inventor's Fair. Okay. I'm gonna crack Inventor's Fair. <laughs> oh not yet. Wait, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> is it four or five artifacts from Ventures Fair? Uh, three. Threat? <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah, it's. Uh, three or more? Oh, I guess that's what Metalcraft used to be. All right, I guess yeah. that scans. Kaladesh. Hell of a block. Um, one, two, three. Mm mm. How big is that Hydra? Uh, two, three. It's a 2-3. Uh, hmm. It's got Trample, eh? Hey? Trample. I'm going to tap 2, 3, 4. I'm going to Sahili to make uh, a Servo into, or sorry, a Lotus Petal into a copy of Mana Crypt. Yep. 4-5. Uh, <coughs> Standard magic, you know. The huge. Uh, I'm going to use three of that mana to play Stone Coil Serpent for three. I have a slightly larger snake. That's true. <laughs> uh, temporarily. Uh, and then I'm going to play Archmount Rapture. Yep. The only correct artwork for Archmount Rapture. Sorry, let's just... Man, there's a lot of opinions. <laughs> you think that was bad? Correct arts. Yeah, you right, have. that was off stream. Yeah. Serge has opinions on the Tarmogoy fart. Yeah. Go the ahead. older the better. Yeah, but his opinion had a lot more uh, expletives. It's, and it's true. <laughs> Clearly, we yeah. We call it, uh, what's the word? Boomer logic. Mm. Wait, hold on. Am I a boomer now? <laughs> With logic like that, Does that mean I can better? afford a house? <laughs> oh, God. But, oh, God, I'll but, take it. Buddy, if you have to ask. It wasn't until they reprinted Tarmogoy that I was actually like, oh, that's what a Tarmogoy is. <laughs> It's not just like a pile of green spiky stuff that doesn't have a head or a body. <laughs> mm. 
Tarmogoyf is just a concept. <laughs> it's a state of mind, really. A way to kill someone is a blue deck. Um, okay. Search Boomer Logic. Oh! oh no. Look who's here to party! Well. It's Timbermare, who's not in the, 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 the list, I guess. So, Timbermare's a 5-5 five, five with haste. No, no. It's got oh. Echo 5. Ah, there you go, 5 oh, green. I... And what else does it say? Because it's pretty relevant. Untappy is my animal heart. No, taps everything. Oh! I... <laughs> yeah, tap all other creatures. Yeah, that, yeah. One's, that one's in English. Oh, I misread Do that. Do you want to? You can take that back. No, right? no, no. That's, I think, better, probably. Um... It does yeah. tap your stuff too. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. This is one of those actual, actual factual symmetrical cards as opposed to like a 2020. This is just a lava axe. <laughs> it is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Everyone's like, can I, can I pet hmm? it? I have one card. I want to pet it. Mm. All creatures want to pet the timber mare when they're distracted for a turn. Let your creature ride the timber mare. It only costs five and a green. Seems weird. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Um, you can take it back. I okay. haven't even tapped my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. Uh, I, I feel like Sahili's maybe a problem. I don't know. I'm inclined to agree. Yeah, so I'll just eat her. Plus Play one. It. More plants. That's a blocker. Pass through. All oh, right, it's a, actually a six six, I guess, but it doesn't really matter. So he'll be mega dead. Yeah. Uh, speaking of six. Oh, oh the lucky there streak is, is over. Justice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can we can get that one melted down later. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, Healy is just like I have control over artifacts. Oh, and I ah, wooden horse. Wow. <laughs> So minus three from the Mana Crypt, plus one from the Inventor's Fair. Wheeler's at 17. Mm. Well, oh, oh, God. I'm going to attack. No. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to take two. I'll play okay. out. All right. Yeah, okay. All right. Uh, tap six. Oh God! Right. Hang your back, Walker, on three. That's oh. a good one. Okay. And then I'd like to crunch. Yep. Everyone at Nissa. Yeah. So she'll take three. Uh, before if uh, block in here. Does that have trample? Right. This has trample. Would you like to block like that? Uh. Right. I guess. Yeah, that makes the most sense. So she would take. She just takes five. five. Yeah. Your your plant. And then I'll pass. Goodbye. Echo. Bye bye. Uh, bye. <laughs> uh oh, Echo. <laughs> what a good mechanic. You wanted to play with this card? <laughs> Tough. Too bad. Um, boy, this is rough. Uh, I'm going to re the sequence, the order in which I play that land. Mm -hmm. I'm going mm -hmm. to. Play this traveler first. <laughs> <laughs> and then play a land. For the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For the first time this turn. Tired uh, mom. Token. Mm -hmm. A little bit closer. Token. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Um. Mm. This game, much closer. I like it. You have nothing in hand right now? Ooh, jazz hands from Wheeler. I don't remember what I put on top of my deck. Yeah, I'll take you for three. Uh, I will take three. Wheeler down to 12. Uh, make oh. a point. <clears throat> yep. yep. Uh, on top. Um, I'm going to roll uh, two. Oh, down to nine, but gets one life off of the Inventor's Fair, so up to ten. Yeah, but after after this Inventor's Fair, uh, Inventor's Fair trigger. Yeah, lightning three. bolts you. Yeah. I just heard a bump on Ben's side of the table after you said lightning bolt. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna. <laughs> 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 this. <laughs> 
PG. We can't, this is the, what? Friday Night Fear Fights, the PG stream. No, no, like bumping interest. What did you think I meant? Uh, yeah. Uh, the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Obviously. Woo! I said it, it's engagement, not engorgement. <laughs> uh, I'm going to find an artifact. Uh, Any artifact? Grab Thought Monitor. God, what it's are a these good colors? One. Mold Drifter with affinity. I had to catch myself because I was going to swear. Yeah. <laughs> this is one of the reasons I want to sleeve this deck up again. I, so we, when we talked about this card in North 100, yeah. like, I think this card will be pretty good. I think it'll actually have a home in eggs too, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, like but I'm not entirely sure. Maybe, maybe not for eggs, but certainly for normal artifact. When I first played this in eggs, I literally laughed in my opponent's face. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just yeah. lost it. I, You're I like, could, one yeah. mana, draw yeah. two, yeah. and I get a choo choo with flying? It's a mold drifter that neoforms into hoof. Yeah. Yeah, it uh, cool. It yeah. caused me to uh, rebuy into Vintage on Magic Online. <laughs> There's a deck well, now four. you can play. Isn't it? Aren't they doing that thing where you can just like all the cards are are just available for people to play different formats mm -hmm. or something? On Magic Online. No. Oh, I thought somebody was. I thought I heard somebody mentioning the, that. There was a modern flashback event where you could pick an old modern deck and play mm. it. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was a. Uh, God, I wish, one. and then draw for turn. You could just play any uh, format. One, two, right three, now. four, five, six, seven. Uh, I'll play thought monitor. Hey, and for one mana. Two. Cool, one mana. Two two. Yeah. Fire. <laughs> yeah. Twenty. Twenty. Don't count like he's dead. What are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? All right. I might be dead. Yeah. Remember, mid-range artifact deck. <laughs> Winky face. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh, big boy? Yeah. Oh. Mirror and Forza. Uh, combat. Yep. I'm going to attack Nissa. Yeah. Don't, push, don't push on the card reader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Nissa. I'll attack Nissa with uh, two servos, Stone Coil, and Arcbound Ravager. Um. Boy, if I can hang it back, Walker, that makes us all kinds of we We'll go plant. You're going all in at Nissa right now? Mm-hmm. Just um, this once. So let me ah. pull this back for a sec. Uh, I'm just going to crack this clue. Sure. Uh, counter on the boy. Mm -hmm. Um. I'll block the servo and let her die. Uh, the servo that's getting blocked, I'm going to sack it to uh, Ravager. You got it. And then, yeah, that's gone, and then I'm going to pass. Hmm. This grove. Uh, clue. Okay, I'm going to throw that on the card reader real quick. Disc grove. Oh. And. You're at 10. East. Hmm. This is tough. I'm going to 
This is convoluted. Mm -hmm. And then it tracks and said Grove. <laughs> this is convoluted. <laughs> it's Friday <laughs> night. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you're feeling this at home chat, but there is some good tension, like some good magic is happening right now. I'm I'm here for it. I might die at any moment, and Ben might die at any moment. Yeah, That's, I also like uh, Funko's in here cheering for Ben. Uh, hasn't specified which one. Yeah, well, it's more so... Thought Monitor can't exist anymore, is the thing. It's because we can put a million modular counters onto it. Um... So, so many thoughts going on at this table. The thought monitor is just going to explode oh, by itself. Oh, yeah, all right, all right. Oh. Yeah, that answers almost everything. matter how big your artifact is till a brontosaurus just comes <laughs> rampaging through stomping on it Ben considering an attack here with the 4-3 yeah. it is a it's a 5-4 five, 5-4 five, oh yeah because of the exalted, exalted. yeah <clears throat> I'm gonna block here All right, all right. They trade. Uh, yep, 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 yep. No, I mean, hey man, if you want one more counter, no, 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 no. I have. Yeah, yeah. Uh, brain damage or not, I had intuition that was shouting berserk at me. Yeah. 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 Oh, dodges the lightning bolt damage off of the. No, I rolled a nine. Oh, that's odd. I'm sorry. Yeah, it is kind of weird. <laughs> uh, uh, whew, hot dog. What does this even do? I'll play an expedition map. All right, all right. And then I'd like to crack the map. Bet you even money he's getting Academy. Uh, that would make sense. Would you take that bet? How much? Like, to go against it or yeah. for it? Yeah, <laughs> a dollar. A dollar? Yeah, you're getting Academy right now. Split a 50-50 on the Academy? Yeah. Okay, deal. Oh, no! Uh, I'll get polluted Delta? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh! I'm thinking one of these days in an Expedition Map deck, I just want to include Mazes, or Maze of If. Oh. Just Totally not on theme or anything. I thought you were going to say Maze's End, and I was like, that sounds even cooler. Go that way out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These are just guild gates. Yeah. I mean, hey. Just swap them out, one to one. <laughs> just as good. I will play Talarian Academy. Yeah. This um, is my shocked face. I'm going to cast the Black Staff of Waterdeep. All right, yeah, you're yeah. gonna have to you're gonna have to tell us what this one does again. It's a one mana legendary artifact. I can choose not to untap it during my untap step, and then it has pay one and a blue tap. Um, animate walking statue. Uh, another target non-token mm -hmm. artifact creature I control becomes a four-four artifact creature as long as it remains tapped. Use it only as a sorcery. It's very good with creatures with counters. It's pretty good. Huh. Uh, you like that better than Karn? Um, you the the five drop yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah, because this can just make my Lotus Petal a 4 4. Right, of course. And yeah, I see what you're saying. Or there. just like an Ornithopter yeah, 4. Yeah, right. And you can do this at turn two. Yeah. Just cool. another in Souls. It's just a. It is, one. yeah. They put in Soul Artifact on an artifact? Whoa. Your choice is either uh, Karn, the Silver Golem, or this stick. <laughs> Mm, that is a nice mm. stick. Yeah, well, uh, that stick is making a lot of good points. After all, why shouldn't I have a nice walking stick? Uh, I'm going to add nine mana to my mana pool. 
I'm going to add a red and use two. I'm going to play PNLR. Yeah. Uh, I make a thapter. I'm going to use two mana and activate my Black Staff of Waterdeep, targeting my. Why are there so many words for trample? <laughs> I was like, does this thing. Because it says Vershocked, <laughs> Trample, Shaden. Shaden. And I was like, oh, does it have Vigilance and Trample? I'm not, I'm, it's, it's just Trample. Oh. This is um, <coughs> Verosot, uh, Trample Shodden, which yeah. means, oh, you thought it had more than Trample? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Classic German humor. Um, I'm going to pay two Inflicts to... Inflicts Trample damage. <laughs> oh, bummer. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's a 4-4. Four, four. I'll right. make it a 4-4. Four, four. Bring it a little closer, though. Scoots. Scoots? Big scoots. Oh, big scoots. It's the most aggressive Lotus Petal ever. Um... And then I'd like to you go down to four and sack this razor tide bridge to say that this can't block. Sure. Hydra can't block. Um, and then I'd like to sack. You're at 20? Yeah. Holy crap. Uh, oh, I'll go to combat. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I will attack with you, uh, with you, um, this, and this. Attack with these. You're tapped out now, eh? Yeah. And you've got no cards in hand? We call that super tapped out. <laughs> um, we've got a good moment here. Plant in front of the 4-4. Four, four. It's just a 3-3, three, three, right? 3-3, three, three, trample, hexproof. Or trample, pro multi reach. It's been so long since I've played Paper Magic. I don't see why I wouldn't be able to do an okay block like this. Unless you're planning on getting rid of your Ravager. Sure, we'll block like that. We'll match five through. Um, the four damage. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm going to <clears throat> sack Hangerback Walker to Arcbound Ravager. Uh, trigger. Oh, shit. Yeah. Ugh. I should have put the plant in front. I can't kill you. Uh, so Hangerback dies, it's going to make three Thopters. Mm hmm. And I have three of these. I mean, I, I'll just use these blue thopters, I guess. That hide them. Yeah, so plus one, plus one counter there. Yep. Um, one, two, three. Uh, no, I would go down to like five ish. I think. Um, one, we should two, probably three, be precise for the for the purposes of the stream. Or so, eh? <laughs> Four, five. Give or take. No time to calculate damage. Estimate. <laughs> Just guess. We are doing math here. Uh, I'm gonna sack the yep. serpent uh -huh. to my ravager. Yes. Uh, and so go to damage. Take six, and then this. Yep. Smacks that, and then I will pass. Cool. Hmm. 
Yeah, Magic's not a game about being precise. Nah. It's all just guessing. Uh, okay, I'm going to... I need a vault. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> And crack this clue. Yep. I'm so happy right now. Uh, <laughs> this is good. Yeah, this, this is, is good. This is good magic to watch. Um, I would like to. What is your biggest butt? Uh, untapped? Pia, right? uh, untapped, yeah, it's Pia. Get, uh, I'm going to promo mic for two. Uh, Thrashing Brother and we'll punch Pia. Yeah. So it is a 5-4. Yeah. Uh, combat. Mm -hmm. So like so. So, so exalted a, trigger. Yeah, it's a. It is a six, six five. Six seven. Six seven with a you... two damage marked on it from primal light. Is that... Oh, it's plus X plus X. Sorry, you're right. Yeah, so it's a six seven. Yeah, with trample. Or not with trample. Did you? Oh, you cracked the clue. Okay, sorry. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a six seven. Mm -hmm. And then I need to. Um. I'm going to throw three tokens in front of the Thrashing Bronodon. Yeah, you got it. You did. Oh. The significance of these decisions here, of course, rely around the Arcbound Ravager and sacking it for counters and stuff like that. There's games upon games being played right now, Chad. This is great. Go ahead. Um, I'm going to choose to untap my Black Staff of Waterdeep. Yes. And roll for Mana Crypt. Oh! oh. Down to seven, loses the roll. Mm. I'll float a couple of uh, or well, I should Ooh, probably nice. do this normally. I'll play Hope of Gear for Yeah, card sweet. Uh, I have a colorless floating and one. I'm going to activate the black staff on my Thopter or Thopter token here. Okay. I'm going to attack you in the air for for five. <laughs> <laughs> Staff is, oh my god. The staff is non token. Oh, apologies. Uh, I will target my thought monitor. Sure. Um, that changes things, I imagine. Yes. Yep. Uh, Good catch. I will attack. Well, kind of changes things. I'm, I'll, I'll just attack with these two for five. Um, and they both fly? Yep. Yep. No blocks. Go. Okay. All right. Bend staff. down to nine. The lights aren't hurting my eyes. It's the fact that I'm wearing these stupid, like, Deus Ex Machina <laughs> glasses. Yeah. They're pinching my face a lot. Uh, All right, we got to land. Else. Yeah. Um, yeah, that works. Animate and use Volk. <gasps> I think it's got to be now. I'm going to die next turn. Um... Oh. 
Let me put the thinking glasses back on. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, combat. Mm -hmm. All right, we got Mutavault, the Brontodon, and the Trampling 2-3 Hydra. Now, notably, no Exalted, because there's more than one creature attacking. 2-3, two, 2. Wheeler with three blockers. This is the thinkingest magic I've had to play. It's good! <laughs> it so it's long, really man. good! <clears throat> Right. Like that. So Hope Gear Per in front of Mutavault. We've got a 1 1 servo token in front of the Brontodon and the 4 4 Ravager in front of the 2 3 Hydra. Ben. Berserk, berserk, berserk. We, berserk. The, there to make snake it. Skin up to, snake All right. skin veil. Snake skin veil. All it, right. Makes it a 4 5. Okay. Berserk. Oh, there's the Berserk! All right, so this is what everyone was playing around this whole time. So yeah. people in chat guessed it. This is why the blocks are being made the way they did. This is why everyone was really thinking all the time. Ben had Berserk and Wheeler thought he had it. Wow, all well, right. It's not over. <clears throat> no. No. Uh, so four, five. So the Berserk is targeting the Brontodon? Berserk is targeting the Brontodon. Yeah. Okay. So, so it makes it a eight, eight five. five. With Trample, notably. With Trample. Mm. Hmm. Maybe my logic going into this wasn't perfect. Uh, and hexproof, I guess it's got, which is key. Um, I'm going to sack this mana crypt to mm -hmm. my Ravager. I think you're gonna get out of this, okay, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. It looks scary right now. <laughs> but he's he's gonna go away. Um. I'm going to sack this Hope Gear per to my Ravager. Yep. Get a larger D6 ready, ready, a larger green die ready for you. And I'm going to sack this Ravager uh, to itself, modular trigger. I'd like to put six counters on my thought. Uh, I'd like to go to damage. Yeah, you got it. Uh, so I take one, two, three. Yeah. And then this dies. This dies. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Everybody cool? Oh my God, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, go ahead, buddy. Wow. Uh, I will choose to untap my black staff. Yep. Is Berserk one of the only cards that has to activate before the combat damage step? It's uh, a very weird timing. No, it, it's it, one of the only relevant cards. Yeah. <laughs> it's a weird, it's a weirdo one. Nine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we might just have a game three here, chat. I hope wow. so. I was like, how? The way you put it out, you're just like, yeah. So I'm thinking about maybe like two rounds of magic. I was like, really? Only no, no, two no, no, no. It was, more, it was more than that. Oh, was it? Oh, okay. When I first read, rounds, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. When I first read, I was like, I feel like we'll play way more. And now I'm like, uh, oh, I get it. <laughs> I get it. I'm gonna use a white and two to play Teferi. <laughs> Good. Um, in uh, response, oh. I'll flash an endurance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can take that uh, library and or graveyard and put it on the bottom. No cards in my hand. I can't let those two get through. I can't let that get through. <laughs> uh, Woo! Sorry, so four and a white. So uh, I have two left over. I have two blue left over. Sure. Uh, one, two, three, four. And white, yep. Yeah. Um, Boo this man. Why are you booing me? No, I'm right. <laughs> you know he's white. <laughs> <laughs> Let's 
I haven't seen a three fairy in a long time. Uh, this is probably incorrect. You mind using him? Yeah. It's a tough call. Yeah. Well. So. Uh, one, you bounce two, endurance, you crack three, through for. Three, so that's four total. Uh, uh, oh, shoot. I'm supposed to do this post combat, but that thing is reach. Yes. Yeah. So. yeah. So I figured you were bouncing. Yeah. Turns. I'm going to yeah. bounce turns. All right. I read the card and it explained the card. It was <laughs> <a wild laughs> uh, I'm going to activate the black staff of water deep. Yeah. On my lotus petal. Okay. And I'm going to. Uh, don't. Be greedy, then. <laughs> uh, I'm going to attack with Thought Monitor. Yeah, taking two. Take two. All uh, right, bend down to seven. I'll play a Spire of Industry and pass. Mm. Looks like a painful land. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess it's probably only being used that. Yeah, it, until I remembered that card had reach because I read it. I was thinking I could <laughs> I could rebuy my thought monitor if I do yeah. it post combat. Yeah, you like attack with it and then bounce it back or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But I'm glad I I'm glad I didn't attack with it. it worked out. I just could have tapped my mana a little differently. Wait, no, I good enough. God, this is a good format. This is a good <laughs> this, this is good magic. Yeah, this is good magic. This is good magic. Here's the question. Ooh. Oh, am I am I playing to You just stretched so hard you popped your mic off. Am I playing to Ben getting bolted next turn? Uh the the thing is gone. Oh you, yeah. you yeah, already yeah, got yeah, rid yeah, of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um Yeah, Mana Crypt got sacked to Ravager that one sequence. Well, I'm gonna play this very boring. I have to play it on my turn endurance. Oh, that card's so bad when you have to play it on your (laughs) turn. A 3 4 with reach for a 3. That has a relevant ability no matter the archetype. Oh. Sigh. Sigh. And you're putting your graveyard back? Yeah. Okay. Wow. And he can shuffle with the. I mean, that one life might make or break it, so. I think it would. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it'll be close. Uh, four, four, eh? That's really annoying. Um, and we're both in top deck central. Go ahead. Ooh! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I. Do that, and I push. You don't even have to block. I block that. I block. I don't. I can't block that, Ben. That's not how cards work. I'll draw. That's how cards work. Um. I'll play a skull coin. Ah! <laughs> ah! The top deck. Mm. I mean, I'd give it a medium right now. Uh, I don't know. Uh, We've got a lot of mana. I'm gonna clamp my thought. Yeah, 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 yeah. One of these cards is good, but I'm glad I didn't say what I was about to say. Which was? Well, I was gonna be like, you know, my deck does have stuff like Ornithopter or Memnite, which, like, I could just draw nothing. But also, my deck has um, stuff like uh, Antiquities War, which... What is that? Yeah. Uh, it's a saga. The first two chapters, I look at the top five cards in my deck and reveal an artifact put into my hand. And then the final chapter is artifacts I control become five fives. Oh. <laughs> um, so I tap this to add one, two, three, four, five mana. So I have a blue floating. Uh, and then we go to chapter one. The Phantom Menace. One, two, three, four. Five. Well, this makes endurance. <laughs> Bad endurance. I have this uh, crucible, <laughs> crucible of worlds yeah. in here, but I'm really doing what I want. No, you're right, Ben. I take it back. Yeah. 
That, that skull clamp, that skull yeah, clamp yeah, is yeah, very yeah. good, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I was thinking with the board state, maybe like him sacking his blockers lets you push through some damage or something. Not but, if you can draw two cards per, right? But then, yeah. And you have uh, the ability to generate about seven mana. Oh, this might be bad. Uh, I'm clamping that, so then why don't I do that? Because that's bad. I should take this. I should take this. I'll take a Mox Opal. Okay. Or Opal Mox. Yep. I will clamp my... Everything I do, I have to double check to make sure I don't die because of it. It's not bad. Uh, I will play the Mox Opal. Yep. Um, I will cast Emery. Uh, so I mill four. These are really good draws. <laughs> Not bad. Uh, okay. Yeah. Some Thopter Makers, a Thought Cast, and an Urza's Bauble. Um, I'm going to throw this. That's a three, four. I'm going to throw this Skull Clamp on Emery. I'm going to tick up the Teferi and I'll pass. I still just might be dead. Depends. On, I mean, if you're good, buddy. Okay. <laughs> Amazon's pilgrim. Okay. Um, Oh, sorry. Is my mic getting rubbed up against this lovely scarf my husband made me? <laughs> it is a very nice scarf. Thank you. It helped pull the whole Deus Ex Machina our glasses together. <laughs> Completes the ensemble. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it says that I believe in lizard people, but... Um, Never asked for the... <laughs> Man. Uh, I Block with Emery. Draw two cards. But, yeah. Combat. Uh, four or five. Is there anything else I get to try and pull another card? I'll block. Yeah. Use it. All right. All right. This is arguably worse. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, pass. Uh, I'll choose to keep that tapped. Uh, you got it. Draw Antiquities War. One, two, four, five. I'll reveal Esper Sentinel. Mm -hmm. More new you cards. You went from none cards to lots yeah, of cards. Yeah, yeah, all, yeah. Yeah, all in one card. Uh, I'm going to tap Emery yep. to uh, recast thought this Thought Monitor, yeah. and then I'll play Thought Monitor. Uh, draw two. Do you have artifacts that it only costs one? Oh, yeah. Probably. Maybe it costs more. One, you only two, got like three. One, two, three. One, two, four. three, four, uh, five. One, so it costs two. two three, four. One, two, three, four. So it'd be... This is an artifact. Yeah. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Sure. Uh. <laughs> All right. Some amount of mana that means I'm not cheating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. perfect. Um, and this is tapped. I will add one, two, three, four, five. Play uh -oh. a metal system. Yes. Uh, it's a 6-6. Six, six. And there's a germ. Uh, I'm going to tick up this Teferi, and I'm going to move the clamp over to this uh, lotus petal, and I'll pass. Okay. Hmm. Ooh. Interesting. I'm going to play a Yamaya. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, everything is now a forest. Everything is forest. Do we have the special Yavamaya overlay, <laughs> Paul? <laughs> um, oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. I'm at four. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Three blockers. You have those. And endurance is sufficient to activate Ronas, right? No, you need to have a creature with four power. I mean, Ronas can't attack any of this time. Yeah, right? yeah. So, um, I have three, nine. I have 11 toughness on three bodies. Yeah. Activate. Combat. Yeah. Um, no. Mm. Is that the right way to go? Yeah. So, meet a vault. Mm -hmm. Combat. Mm -hmm. They're all coming in. That flunge, yo. Mm. Nettle cyst slowly sliding forward, trying to determine who to block. I block that, and then I block that, and then I block endurance. Uh, There's a three four. Hmm. Yeah, this is blocking. Oh, blocking endurance, endurance rather. This okay. blocks there. This blocks there. And then you have one free, and then you have a plus two that you can put on your trampler, uh, which means that the skull clamp says I'm, no, plus, or plus two. The plants are zero ones, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'll block like that. Oh, it gets bigger from Antiquities War. Sorry. Right. Writing that's enchantments. Oh, boy. Um, if that changes anything. No, no it doesn't. Nuts. No. <laughs> yeah, I take these plants back. No. Um, so that dies. That dies. That's still alive. We can come back in. This is a hell of a game, Wheels. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. But then I think I just die. On the crack back here. Should have left the plants. Uh, he, you're hellbent right now? Like no yes. cards? Yeah. Well, hold on, because this, you're taking. There's currently one damage that's being dealt by this. Yeah. And I have three toughness over here. So this isn't getting through unless it gets buffed. Mm hmm. When it gets buffed, I only take an additional one, so that's only two. Um, I think if you hold back your elf and immutable and flunge, I'm dead. Because I only have three blockers, and you have one, two, three, four attackers. Sorry? Um, if you, for the sake of, mm -hmm. uh, if, if mutavolt doesn't attack and this doesn't attack, then you have three, uh, you have Mutavolt, the Mutavolt mana, and then Pilgrim, so three additional right, mana. I would have had so extra. two activations, and you're attacking with one, two, three, four. So I would block two of these in a plant, yeah. and then you just double pump for four on one of the plants. Mm -hmm. So I missed that. So uh, I am cool to die. <laughs> and uh, and uh, go on to the next one. Sure. Yeah. Wow. Sure. If that works, sure. Yeah. Yeah. I just missed it. I actually, as I was going through the attacks, I realized that I had a pipe or the the pilgrim. So. Right. Holy G -G. G -G. All right, Wheeler takes it in two. That was round one, everybody. What a round one! Mm -hmm. God, I love this format. 
All right, I'm sure we can do a whole wrap up and stuff like that, but we were 90 minutes into this. We got a lot more magic. We're gonna take a very short commercial break. Stick around more after this. What's up gamers? We're hitting some gnarly waves. I was gonna go snowboarding and then went surfing. It's all West Coast to me, baby. Welcome back to Friday Night Paper Fight here at twitch.tv slash loading ready run. Canadian Highlander, free for all. Nelson. What up? Surge. Hi. Round two. Fight. Hey, good luck, friend. Good luck, Tichi. I'm so excited to be playing this match with Matthew McConaughey as our uh, table friend. <laughs> we got a swamp and then go. Wow. That's not Matthew McConaughey, but I just like like that noise. Um, do, 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 That's do. what I love about Link. That's not even Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> I'm going to play uh, this Agadine's Undercrypt. Okay. Tapped. Sure. And say go. I've got a second swamp, and a friend of mine altered this demonic tutor. Ooh, that's a very pretty demonic tutor. It's Which really a demonic that? tutor. What's so demonic. Well, you get to search your library for a card and put it in your hand. What are you getting? Uh, one of these ones. All right, here. that's fair. That's yeah. fair. Let me take a quick peek over here at what I'm supposed to be getting. Yeah. I like how you put it on the card good. recognizer. Even no idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to establish good habits, right? Is this a Leo? It is Leo, yeah. yeah. Our buddy Leo from uh, the old YJ scene has since moved on to big things. Frencher pastures. That's Frencher pastures. That's right. What? <laughs> I don't know why I did the Owen Wilson wow in response to your Matthew McConaughey. I should have said all right, all right, all right, but wow. you know, so it goes. What's oh, the wow. difference between Owen Wilson and Matthew McConaughey? Really. <clears throat> That's okay, fair. I'm gonna grab this one, and All right. it's your turn. Right All right, now. untappity. One has blonde Half hair, the, turn, the other's right. named McConaughey. <laughs> uh, swamp, second swamp. Okay, mm -hmm. everyone Clearly has you're a man of mana. taste, yeah? That's right. I'm gonna cast this vampire. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, two mana, two, two. Uh, unpronounceable highborn. Whenever it or another vampire what? control dies, I may play a black, wait, put it into the graveyard from that, the battlefield. That oh, first sure. word is like not even as hard as my last one. trio? Lose <laughs> two life, and then I gain two life. All and right. I'm gonna say go. I'm taking offense for you by proxy, Clastria Highborn. <clears throat> all right, do you want to cut? Oh, do I? Nah, it's fine. That's a lot of work, actually. I was like, I have to reach all the way across. I was excited for a second. I was. You I thought I, you wanted to cut. No, I just like that I have the option, too. That's mm. good, that's good. OK, we're going to rock um, Dark Boar Pathway. All right. And uh, on the oh, here. sorry, here you go. That's right. It's, it adds black. Wow. OK, and Worn Power Stone adds colorless. Back to you, my friend. All right, he's ramping. Now that's a good name for an actor. Warren Powerstone. Warren Powerstone. <laughs> Hello. I, uh, I'd i like to invest in Warren Powerstone stocks. Warren Powerstone? Is Another swamp? Mm -hmm. Three mana. Do you know who else is a vampire that Ooh. I always forget about? Yeheni. Yeheni is weirdly a vampire. All the right? Easter born are vampires. Yeah. Right? Um, are Yeheni yeah. also has haste, so I'm going to choo choo and get in beep, there for beep. four. I'm at, Easy. I'm at 16. Yep. Other way around. Hmm? Oh. Yeah, oh, I flipped weird. it around oh, so it actually, it? yeah. Oh. God damn it. Yeah, 20 to 16. Now nothing makes Pass. sense. Surge well, that should make sense. You click on the one that lines we were up with the player. We're also used well, to having everything like backwards. looks like you're at two and Nelson said 91. <laughs> I want to lose another life and go down to 15. I lost 10 there. That's amazing. Now, that, now, that... No matter which way I put the thing around, somebody complains about it. Yeah, so. there's always a problem. I'm going to flip it around because it's like stage left, stage right. If that's easier for you, you do you, table friend. Paul can't lose for winning Saunders. You live, you live your best table life, friend, okay? Okay, we're searching for a, a swamp or a plants here. We found a Badlands. We'll, we will shuffle. We'll shuffle. But first, let's cast... Oh, God, that's a lot of mana. Everyone's favorite, Grave Titan. Oh, okay. Hooray! Uh, Paul played Dragula. <laughs> if we could get some Dragula in the background, that would be a deal. Turn four Grave Titan. That's my, how we like to do it. Dude, Odd time Grave Titan. My two twos are this, looking at this six six, and they're saying, "Oh no!" This grave Titan yeah. got out of bed this morning and knew that there was work to be done, and I'll pass it. Ah. Turn four Grave Titan is one of those things in this format where you're like, "Okay, that's not even that good," until you fight it, and you're like, "Oh, I'm dead." Yeah. Yeah. If they have the wrath, it's not that good. Well, they feel a little dumb. Maybe, it's definitely but... the play where they're like, I'll just counter it. I don't see why that's good. But uh, they don't always Fabled do. Passage. The best I'm gonna, possible Fabled Passage. I'm going to crack that for Ooh. a basic mount. Well, snow covered basic mountain. Sorry, Paul. What so I'm, I'm just kind of stuck uh, imagining the Grave Titan's like morning routine. Like, mm. you know, him like waking up, making himself some breakfast. 
you know, kind of like the opening sequence of Dexter. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I like the idea too of watching Grave Titan as like an Instagram influencer dropping the like, here's my morning routine since so many of my followers have been asking. Every morning I great <laughs> I wake up and make sure I get the right nutrition for all the zombies that are in my chest. Uh you good? All this right. is mostly some steel cut oats, but I do occasionally get some berries and local fauna in there. I'm gonna cast Anya here. Anya yep. is a legendary four five, four, five. vampire. When it enters the battlefield, when another vampire shows up, I get to make a blood token demonstrated by this very pretty blood token because I'm an artist. Mm -hmm. And then two and sack a creature or blood token. Each opponent loses two and you gain two. Just more Calastria triggers, hey? Okay. I mean, well, it's realistically just going to block this Grave Titan. <laughs> sure. okay. and, uh, and say go. Now read you Henny again. Yep. I've read this card so many times. Yeah. But ne it's, there's never enough time. Aether Revolt was a long time ago. You can sacrifice any one of your other creatures to give this indestructible. Yep. And whenever my creatures die, this gets bigger. Yep. Okay. I'll yep. try to remember that until my turn, at least. <laughs> it's your turn. If another turn passes, no promises. Yeah. Sorry, I just figured out what I want to. Grave Titan has this uh, uh, GTL mindset. Mm. Uh, like Jim Tan Laundry. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Grave Titan's yeah. getting stuff done. Graveyard Tombstone La Petite Morir. <laughs> the Little Death? The Little Death. La Petite yeah. Morir. Just yeah. a little death. Nap it's time. a treat. Yeah, exactly. Just a tiny, teeny weeny death. Let's. I, nothing teeny mana. weeny about this Grave Titan. Sitting across from it, let me. <laughs> right? Okay. Look around, Mort. I'm on uh, pre combat. Cast this Knight's Whisper with a colorless floating. All right. I'll all lose right. two life. Yeah. Is that a colorless floating? I'm going to draw two cards. Knight's Whisper. <sighs> That's a name I haven't heard in a while. <laughs> You've got a lot of nerves showing up at this town, Knight's Whisper. Uh, okay, with that colorless, let's pay two more mana and cast Rotting Regisaur. Good. <laughs> favorite. <laughs> Looks so good to be doing this all pre-combat, kids. I thought I might rip a kill spell. You never know. Okay, let's party on in with Grave Titan. Attack trigger, make two more zombies. You're just doing it pre-combat for F6 equity. Yeah, yeah. Albert's so proud of me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I will. I will double block. I will trade up my oh. four or five or my two two will kill your Grave Titan. That's totally fine. I'll. I have Death Touch. They'll both die. Yeah. Do you still want to make this block? Well, I want it. I want. Yeah, to, I would like to kill the grave type. <laughs> totally fine. Yeah. Totally fine. Trade. Right. Trade Arino. Now, your, should I put your honey gets bigger? God, why does it? Why does it have death touch? Why do they get nothing cure? Before you play anything, should I put your life total at seven? <laughs> no, not, not okay. losing any more life immediately. Oh, you imagine he's going to animate dead end. Yeah, he's going to just slam. That was the sword. Oh, that'd, be that'd be good. That'd be good. That'd be good. Those vampires have some death triggers on them. Oh, does Anji do something? I don't have mana. Oh, okay. Yeah. But yeah. does she make blood tokens when my things die or something? Or is it just... No, when, so when Anya Sorry. enters the battlefield or another vampire enters the battlefield, okay, I okay. create a blood token. Sorry. Uh, max costs, once per turn. Black. And Clastria, yeah. I have to pay yeah. mana when they die, so I have no yeah. mana. So they weren't really relevant. All good, all good. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I just played a Pluto Delta and I'll take it. I have this... Uh, I have this 3-3. Three, three. Yeah. I'd be very afraid. It's a good one. Do my, sure. You have a running Ritasaur? Do my... Sorry. These mm. snowboarder glasses are really bad. <laughs> are you splashing green, or is that right? Yeah, I have a green source on the oh. other side of this dark board. We've got a Deathrite Shaman in the deck. But can you beat George? I think probably, yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, each vampire creature you own that isn't on the battlefield has madness. That's a, that's actually kind of hot now. Heavy, heavy monsters. Yeah. 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 Oh, the blood, the blood tokens? I, yeah. like, I'm actually, that's legit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, four cards in hand. Finally, Shadows of Rannis Tried has its day in the yeah. sun. Yeah. I think I've lifetime yeah. done that once with Bomac. Career. Yeah. All right. Yeah. There's Arid Mesa or Marsh Flats. Sorry. Okay. I mean, I don't know why that one's in Japanese. It's just hard to read. Uh, do your worst, Nelly. I will untap and yeah. discard a card. Oh, value. Um, um, it's going to be damnation. Case. I don't think we're doing that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Sorry. god. Oh, you're from Falconrath. Uh, do you know Falconrath, George? <laughs> Perfect. Not everybody from Falconrath knows each other. But yeah, I know George. But yeah, I do yeah. know George, actually. Yeah. yeah. How much does a blood token cost a sack? Mm. Uh, one. one. Great question. Awesome, okay. Mm -hmm. You're still at 20 because you just blocked. Uh, I don't really want to feed all these zombies. Oh, yeah, Henny can get so big, though. Right? Let's no, not smash, the seven six. Smash in with this dino. Uh, yeah, George is uh, not long for this world. Poor sweet George, we barely knew you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's play ancient tomb. Oh God. What's hey, up? a wincon. 
sacrifice this, and we're gonna lose three life here. We'll grab, oh, yeah. we'll grab a uh, Bayou. And I'm sorry, how much money time? No, not Ugin. Not all Ugin. Of it. No, no, it's just Diabolic Rev. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Are you okay? Are you gonna be all right? <laughs> yeah, that's. Oh my god. All right. So how much is it. how much is X there? Uh, I'm trying to figure that out. Sorry, there's one more mana here. Yeah. Uh, five. One, two, three, four, five. X is four. Okay. We're going to tutor for four cards, because that's the deck we built. Oh, this we're, for four cards? We're ramping into Diabolic Rev. Okay. No, that's no, our deck. No, no. You, you're ramping into keeping this George around for another uh, four turns. Wait, you're getting five cards? Four, right? Four. Four, I think. Yeah. Why five, is, five plus X. How is George sticking around? George is dead. George is out, right? This, this George died. X, George yeah. died, yeah. Oh, grab sorry. Four I mean cards. Reginald. Oh yeah, this I called, Reggie. I called Reggie. You just gotta fuel the Reggie. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. I've got two cards in my hand for that as well. Yeah, your body is Reggie. My body. <laughs> Mine isn't. Yeah. Well, I for a sec there, I was like, I don't see why, why is Serge so worried. He's at twenty and Nelson's at ten, but I forgot that Nelson's. When you're the black player, good. you're One. like, I'm I'm at ten. I'm winning. Yeah. Two. Yeah. I need to get rid of my life as quickly as possible. How do I take the damnation <laughs> from his deck, Wheeler? How do I how do I make that happen? I, don't know. Let's uh, do this way. I think there's a vampire that can one. actually do it, maybe. Three. But it costs like a million mm. mana. Mm. Okay, we've got we've got plans. I mean we've got means and ways. So when a player diabolic revs for four, four. in Canlander, yeah. usually Pass. you're dead because there's like Black Lotus, Lion's Eye Diamond, Yog Will, Infernal Tutor, or whatever. All right, but, but this might be scarier. Oh. <laughs> um, but we so didn't want, we wanted to make better TV I'm tonight. Gonna, We're not playing I'm going to crack this yeah. as well first. I'm in the middle of cracking this blood token, but okay. I want to uh, remove a land from my deck first. Uh, so let's get the. Uh, the the, 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 the yeah. Some people play Black this, Lotus, and other people play Rotting. This Reservoir. is better. This is better. I mean, Por Cano Los Dos. Um, <laughs> this is better TV, but also. This is just your north, or not north 100, um, the punt counterpunt bit mm. with that like f quad cascade card. <laughs> oh, where right. you're just We've like, got, uh, I blood get crypt here. That's coming from the top. Behemoth. Ooh, Grull Rage Beast. Just li <laughs> listing off like four big fatties. Yeah. And yeah. how can they beat that? You just play a bunch of large homeboys. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, discarding this land to the blood token, okay. drawing a card. Sounds good. Okay, okay. Uh, untap, untap, draw for the turn. So you're saying there's a chance. Miracle. No, it wasn't a miracle, unfortunately. Oh. Uh, Polluted Delta is going to go into play. Uh, and I'm going to cast this Coven! I have another 3-3. Three, three. So it's a 3-mana three 3-3 three, three with Menace. Whenever you gain life, you may pay a black. If you do, return target card from your grave or creature card from a graveyard to your hand. That's cool. Yeah. And I'm going to say go. All right. All he only tuned it for four cards. They can't be that good, right, how, Wheeler? How good could they be? Mm. Right. I'll be curious to see what you discard. This is the real important part of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll discard Archon of Cruelty. Draw. Can you just remind me what that does real quick? Which one? This one? Yeah. Is this the one that... It's big and flying and kind of scary. So Attacks. what you're telling me is you don't have a filth oh, in God. your deck. All right. mm, I didn't, couldn't find filth. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, okay, let's... Lose more life points. All right, Everyone down, loves that. Down to eight. Okay. I'll, I'll okay. Cast Leyline of the Void. <laughs> oh. No. Ah. Bye. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. And then I'll Wait, cast Helm of one... Obedience. Oh, so Frank this is the combo. Well, I did Diabolic Road for four. I didn't know you had combo in your deck. All right, that's kind of sick. Leyline right. doesn't kill your library immediately. No, no, no kill your in peace. All right. Uh, no, the, your, the, your current cards are fine. Yeah, this is this is cool as hell. I'm dead. Yeah, I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. Activate, activate it. So, okay. for people who don't know how this works, Helm of Obedience says um, put up to X cards into a graveyard, and you don't stop until you hit a creature or that number of cards. Now we have Leyline of the Void in play. Line of the Void says no cards go into the graveyard. So Helm of Obedience has said put two cards. Oh, that's exiled. Okay. Oh, that's exiled, and you just keep going until your whole deck is gone. So now my deck. Goes it into only exile. exiles your library, though. If you have a way to kill them before you would draw a card, you can oh, I win. sure don't. Yeah. All right, all, all right. right, we'll go to game two. Sounds good. Importantly, it's because of how poorly worded Helm is. The very specific <laughs> wording on Helm of yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's like you repeat it until something is put into yeah. the graveyard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. think that's poor. I think well, that's just very specific, and well, that's beautiful. They that did that and then immediately changed the templating after that. Did they? Oh, yeah. okay. Helm is like this combo that exists because of like. The sixth edition rules change philosophy, or whenever it was around there, where they're like, 
hey, we want the cards to do what they say they're going to do. Yeah. So old cards are going to, as best as we can, make sure that, like, when you read it, it, it does that, mm -hmm. you know? So. That's just, I, I don't know. I, I haven't been helmed yeah. in oh, yeah. so long, and that's, that's fantastic. That's what they try for, right? Okay, yeah, fair enough. I, I, I love the, that you. the Oracle on Helm of Obedience is just uh, target opponent mills a card. Like, they actually have Oracle in the mill now. Yeah. I wasn't expecting a combo win. What, uh, yeah, that's combo, but that's like, you can never be upset. I mean, no, you're not you can't. Upset, no, 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 that's, no. That's yeah. just like. When fair you lose to Helm, you're like, ah, uh, you know, game's his game, yeah. right? We took the we took the ten cards that would have been the storm top end in the big black deck, and we just turned them into a bunch of different yeah. garbage platter A plus I, B. I think Love eighteen it. mana to do that across <laughs> two turns is yeah. basically just drain life for lethal. Yeah, so, you can't yeah. be too mad. That's no, right. Yeah, not at all. It is. Uh, there is a deck that I've always wanted to build, which is just mono black A plus B combos that. Tilted out Canlander players a decade ago. Oh, oh like Chains of like, Mephistopheles. Yeah, you just and, all, uh, all the mind Well, yeah. just like Painter Stone and just stuff that all you like Painter Serpent. You know what? You want to oh, you want to make a Magic oh. player angry? Necropotence and Venser's Journal. That's a way to make a, a Highlander player sad. I just barely left that one yeah. on the table. Oh, did you? Yeah. Yeah. I would have loved There's, to see. You I was staring at the Necro. There was an journal. old. Yeah. There was a. I built a mono black control deck with that with Yog Bargain, Necro, and Venser's Journal. Yeah. And I remember. I played against we, me probably. We yeah. Played, well, I played against both of you, yeah. and we went to Swans afterwards. <laughs> oh and boy. I made some joke. Spencer made I, a prediction I about who was out, the wolf, well, I right? I pulled out all these cards, yeah. and I stuffed them into my shirt pocket and forgot about it. <laughs> and I laundered that shirt. Oh no! Which uh, had a foil promo Necropotence, oh. foil Vencer's Journal, foil Cabal Coffers, no. and then foil Phyrexian Obliterator. Oh, Keep. I'm sorry. But I had a lot of Raspberry Weed Ale that night, so it was pretty great. Fair. How the hands look, boys? Uh, I'm capable. I'm thinking. The run register threw me off. That's why I didn't think he was on combo. Yeah, but I guess he played a 7 fine. 6, right? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, Let's good luck it. to you, my friends. Good luck to you, too. Swamp. You're up. Okay. Swamp. Mox Dialman. Swamp. Discovery. What's that one do? <laughs> it's Ponder. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Gotta get that card back in my hand that I discarded. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? Surveil 2. Yeah. Oh. It's Ponder. I mean, it's not quite Ponder, but it's pretty close. Well, yeah, uh, I guess we, you know, that's fine, actually. I mean, let's do it. Let's do it. Both on top. I'll draw one. See, it was Ponder. Yeah. When you're, Go. When you're Mox Diamond. No, why uh, would you draw it now, you butt? I mean, all right. uh, everything is perfectly copacetic. Uh, I'm going to play Metallic Mimic, naming Vampire. You got it. Surprising nobody. You're up. Okay. Draw that card. Play another swamp. It's obvious. It's pretty obvious. I drew a one drop on turn two, right? Like I'll that's everyone's yeah. yelling. Beseech the queen. <laughs> this one. Dude, this brings me back. This brings gonna, me back. It, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's an it's an yeah. old altar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and Beautiful. the art's not covered up, so I can only get a two drop, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like this is this is good old, good old clean magic. We should do a uh, Friday night paper fight of Canlander, where we do we call it like time machine Canlander, okay. where we have like just a invite Nelson, a rule only of old thumb. Cards. <laughs> yeah, we just invite Nelson. <laughs> it's is there is there it's like whatever uh -oh. opposite day f modern format is. It's like any right. nothing nothing that's legal and modern. We, we just well, we just bring all these old like decks, like built as though. It was 2010. Sure. Or like yeah. 2011. Yeah, we play, or we play Canlander pre modern. We could do that. Ooh. Oh, Remember when, when Canlander first started, the modern card border had only just cropped up. Like the first Canlander match I played was during Ravnica, I want to say. Like post, post Guild Pact or something like mm. that. I, Around then, I played he, some Canlander. I remember playing against Charles and Go Tom yeah. when Betrayers came out. Yeah. Fair. I bought Jun Duels for like 15 bucks. Oh, yeah. A full guys. set. Those were the days. To Vish ya. Yep. I'm vicious, vicious Kavus. I might be dead here, Wheeler, and I don't like it. Well, I only have three mana. Does your red black deck have a way of killing a 1 3 <laughs> artifact creature? Yeah, like it's well, just a creature. Well, I didn't expect that, so that's not the hand I kept. That's fair. You know, I didn't keep a, a, a removal heavy hand. I have this vampire horror. Okay. 
Uh, a, which is going to enter with a plus one, plus one counter. It's a 4 3 trample and 4 3 also... trample. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, exile the top card of their library. Wait, exile the top card of my library, and I may play it until end of turn. Right. And it also has madness. Uh, so go to you. I kind of dig that you've got this like robot vampire on your side. I mean, this is a good hand for what we faced last round. Yeah. I'll cast this painter servant. Okay. Uh, I have to name a color. I'll name black. All right. And I'll cast this grindstone. <laughs> And I'll say go. <laughs> you might be fine. You have you have some draws. You, you've got outs. You also the, can't. The vampire I can't block is going to give you an extra shot. You legally can't get mad at this as well. I know, I know. Yeah. Mm. Are we dropping gamers? Also, this just puts it into your graveyard. You might have a way of not dying. Okay. Yeah. No exile. No exile. Yeah. Not like the last combo. I take damage. It's a 1 3. All right, so I'm going to oh, hit yeah, you for 4. I'm going to hit brutal. you for 4. Okay, yep, I take 4. You get a trigger. All right. Not what you want to see on Exile. I mean, that card is very good. Yeah, it's pretty good. I love that card. Yeah, I'm a fan. All right, so my kills here are I have a cycle. I have Unearth in my hand. I'm going to cycle it. Okay. Because I need a kill spell. Yeah. But I can hit Chain Lightning or Lightning Bolt, which means I need to leave Red Mana untapped. Or Fatal Push. Or I can or hit Fatal Push, which means I need to leave white or Black untapped. Do you have Blood Chief Surst in your deck? I do not. So it means it's 2 to 1 red. Okay, then. Mm, do you have any other way that could kill this for Black? Not for 1 mana. Hmm. Not for 1 mana. Alright. A bunch of 2 mana kill spells. Bunch of two mana kill spells. Recycling on Earth. Okay. Mm -hmm. And. And. Play this land. Okay, we got two mana now. We're back. We're back in it. Pog. Pog. Pass. Pogifers, fetch the two mana kill Actually, spells. And it put me okay. down one. I'm going to get fetch, another land here while we're doing now. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, untap. Yeah. Draw. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Nelson, I gotta say, I've known you for quite some time. I really love the evolution into Pock's dad. <laughs> just the, you know, a guy, right? Like the yeah. the guy who just Honestly, shows up. It's at weird. The... It feels so weird for me because I've done so many weeks of my life playing like six different formats. Yeah. And I'm like whipping a new deck together for each of them or yeah. something. And I'm like behind the counter talking to everyone. And the last few years, it's like, nah, I just. You're, I got to get the kids to soccer practice, yeah. man. I don't have time for this, yeah. right? Yeah. If you had been born uh, five years earlier, you would have been the guy showing up to a legacy event with four main deck chains. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's incredible. And a Grateful Dead T-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Little, slightly longer hair, but just as frizzy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's great. That's where we can be for me in five years. It's good. It's good. Santa, I want some chains and masks. Just hurry up and kill me. <laughs> I want to, before casting this, I want to cast this Phyrexian Furnace. <laughs> what does that do? It seems particularly mean. I mean what is that one? Uh, oh, just in case I hit something? Oh, it doesn't, well, it takes some mana. I don't even have the extra yeah, mana yeah, to do yeah, it. It's yeah, fine. Right, I'm right, just right. showing off that it's in my deck. <laughs> it right. removes the bottom All right, card. So, the yeah, <laughs> sorry. I was, when I cast it, I was like, this is one of the ones that you can hit one Wheeler, target card, right? You check right? this half, I'll true, check this half to see if no. I have an out. All right, real quick here. We're checking to see if I have an out. So if you're like a green Ooh. deck, you can so, like... So what ahead. do you need yeah. here? Cross and Reclamation. I don't know. Well, I need I need something that either puts cards back into my deck or deals 14 damage at instant speed. This would have been in pretty hard. Actually, yeah. So just to clarify what's happening right now. Oh, yeah. Let's make it clear. This combo's going on. I've named Black with Painter's Servant, which makes all cards in all zones. Isn't that wild? Uh, so including the cards in Surge's library are all black. Su and super then goth Painter's Servant. Super goth, exactly. And then I've activated Grindstone which is this old mill artifact that checks to see what colors the mill cards are. And if they're the same, it keeps going. So when you have these two cards, you just get to put all of their cards in their library into their graveyard. What do you got? Well, Surge, uh -huh. it's, uh -huh. I mean, you're gonna, it's, it's a really pretty eighth of that. <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you ever wanna ship it, let me know. Yeah. Wow. I think I actually got that off of you. Probably. I think you and I shared a hotel room when we went to a GP event, mm -hmm. and I was trying to put together mono black pox, 
and and there was a there was an exchange it's of the Fox Father mirror for, match for Aether vials yeah. that happened in a hotel room or something like that. I bought multiples of a card. Yeah, <laughs> oh, we, yeah, we, <laughs> trade, we didn't even buy them. We traded them. Anyways, that's GG. Oh, GG. All right. Sometimes well there's fast games. Sometimes there's slow games. That's well, Highlander. We're making up for it. Yeah, we got to make up for the Ben mirror with the yeah. super fast uh, judge match there. Do we take a break or do we? Just we definitely take a break. Roll in. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Great. 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 So we'll leave it to the Wheeler to okay. sign us out. Sorry. Yeah. We'll, Sorry. we'll take a quick commercial break and then we'll come back for the third and final round of Friday Night Paper Fight. Don't go away. Welcome back to round three of the Friday Night Paper Fight. We've seen robots flying around, various scary planeswalkers, uh, combos, grave titans, vampires. Berserks. Did we really see the vampire? And now it's time <laughs> to find out what the vampires are really made yeah, of. Yeah, yeah. Is it blood? Maybe. Only time can no, tell. wait, vampires aren't made of blood. Oh, well. At least uh, vampires don't have blood. What? I mean, we're made of water. You well, know vampires what? Vampires are made of blood. We're going to find out what vampires are oh, made of. Isn't blood water? During the match, hopefully. Assuming Surge casts some spells. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. Yeah. But first, but first... We have an important thank you we'd like to send out. Thank I forgot the, again. The North one, but I didn't. The North 100 crew was given these beautiful, I assume 3D printed, deck boxes. Yeah, these are super cool. These are sent How about by, this barrel? By uh, TechCore17. Uh, there was one for myself, Wheeler, Jer, and Alex. And it's just like, they're very cool. I know that they were like themed to your decks, but I saw that and I was like sick. Monkey. It's yeah. a sick Donkey Kong uh, deck box. I also, I saw the... It's got like a little hidden ooh, thing at the bottom the too. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. I saw the, the picture that James shared on, uh, on our Slack and I was like, oh. Those are such incredible coffee mugs. I want. <laughs> I didn't realize they were deck boxes yeah. from the picture. But yeah, they're gorgeous. Sick. All right, so without further ado, I believe Mr. Elmer won the dice roll. We Good fight. Luck, Good luck, my friend. Frast. This weird snake. Oh, God. Ooh, go ahead. Oh, God. Got any hexes? I'm thirsty. Uh, I have a hex. Uh, I have a, 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 a fatal push hex. Mm. Snacko must die. Okay. I'm well, sorry. Danger noodle is too dangerous. At least it drank uh, a hex. It, it died. It, it straight up drank a hex. It it's died true. doing what it loves. <laughs> working, <laughs> as, working as intended. Uh, hey, you going to Hex Director's funeral next week? <laughs> I'm yeah. going to take some time off work. Uh, I'll play a forest. Hmm. Hmm. I go. Untap. Land. Tippity. Uh, loot or scooter? Loot or scooter. And pass. Powerful magics. Uh, I'll <laughs> play this grove. Nice. Which grove? Uh, this <laughs> grove. I'll ouch myself for two. Ouched. I'll play three elves in a trench coat. Oh no! Mm -hmm. And pass. Untap. Draw for the turn. It's a 3-3. Three, three. A. It is. Line of where elves really want to get into that movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to play Dragon Skull Summit. I promise I'm 14. Uh, three mana Captivating Vampire. This is a two mana, or three mana, two, two. Other vampires get plus two, plus, or plus one, plus one. What's wrong with my brain? And I can tap five untapped vampires to gain control of target creature. It becomes a vampire in addition to its other types. Permanent. <clears throat> nope. Then I'm going to crew. Okay. And I'm going to attack. Hits you for three, and when it attacks, I may... Do I draw and then discard? Yes, I do. Draw a card. If you do, discard a card. So I'm going to draw, and I'm going to discard uh, this Bloodgast. Oh, synergies. Good. And single. Um, uh, I don't think I need to get too weird. You got so much mana. I do. Uh, I'm going to play the Scoos. Oh, mm -hmm. no! <laughs> I'm a vampire! The hits don't <laughs> stop coming. Oh, man. All right. Um, it's a very pretty scooze. Yeah. Steel Leaf Champion. Oh, my God. Oh, best friends. I'm in danger. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -da. Go ahead. Oh. We call this archetype Mono Green Pips. Untap. <laughs> yeah. Untap. Draw for the turn. Oh, I think I, I think I actually get there with this window because I have exactly a fetch land. 
Awkward. Yep. So landfall trigger? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Comes back. It's a 3-2. Uh, then it's going to crew. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to rumble in for three. Sure. Taking three. Trigger? Yeah. And I draw. And I'm going to discard do -ba -do -boo, a blood crypt. You got it. Uh, second main, I'm going to Inquisition you. No. Oh. Hmm. It's okay. I'm actually in an okay spot. Uh, I got a Green Sun Zenith, uh, E-Witness, and Old Growth Troll. So I hit them all, but they're all bad. <laughs> I think all those cards are great. They're all very <laughs> good cards. But to me, they're bad cards. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, man, uh, I guess let's take the E-Witness, sure. or sorry, how do I pronounce it? Mm. Ewiggy Zugin. Get out of here, Zugin. Ewiggy? Really? Ewiggy? Yeah. yeah. What's written on the witness? Uh, turfs can rot. Fair enough. So they can. All right. Um, and then, God, I'm in so much danger. Sorry, look away for a second, Ben. Oh. What is on the back side of this? Oh. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I'm doing, this is my, both for hiding mine and my typical, like, Surge does a thing response. Yeah. Right. Oh, no, it's <laughs> happening again. I can actually, like, yeah, compartmentalize, it's, like, the same sort of response. I'm, I'm hiding my face. Are we good? Is the pain uh, over yeah. yet? I'm going to cast Air of Falconrath, which is a double-faced card, so yeah. I needed to see what the other side was. Um, so it's a two-mana, two-one, or I may discard a card and transform it. On the back side, it's a three-two with flying. Yep. And I will say go. Uh, it's not at sorcery speed, eh? Anytime. Activate Art. this ability only once only each once turn. Only once each turn. Okay. Okie doke. Four mana. Questing beast. Go! <laughs> Combat. Yeah, yeah. Am I getting beep beeped here? Great. Combat. Yeah, I appear to be getting beep beeped. So that's a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah. And Steel Leaf Champion is a 5-4 that can't be blocked by creature's power 2 or greater or anything like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. God, what do I do here? Can't be blocked so, by 2 or less, right? 2 or less. Yeah. 2 or less. So the, so you're two, the Aero Falkenrath can block, This actually. can block, yeah. yeah. Well, it's currently a 3-2 it's a as well because of Captivating Vampire. Yes, so it can block. Yeah. Oh, both of them have that, that rules text. Yes. Wow. Team no chump. So there's a world in which I discard a card to Air of Falconrath to make it a 4-3. And originally I was happy to trade there, but I wonder Is if it's it... still a vampire on the other side? Yeah, I think I so. I hope so. I think so. What does it turn sure into? It into like oh, a vampire guy. berserker. Ah, okay. It's still a vampire, but angry. Yeah. And it's like, that's a pretty brutal two for one. Mm. Uh, you know what? Sure. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm going to discard a card to flip it. Uh, I'm going to pitch this Vampire Hex Mage. Yep. Uh, and then I would like to block your 5-4. This one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. All right. So I'm going four to damage. take 4 damage. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, also going to die. 4 damage as well to the Planeswalker. Nice. Goodbye. Gah! Surge is a Planeswalker. Yeah. But he already took 4. <laughs> uh, pass. Okay, now before this match started, you were asking me if this card was a yeah. good one. How do you feel about it? Happy now? about it. Yeah. Okay, great. I was like, I, I just looked, like looked at it. I was like, I mean, it seems okay. Do you still want mana ramp on turn three? I'm gonna, I'm gonna and, crack. And as every commander player will tell you, hell yeah. Hells to the yeah. So my raft duel's already in my graveyard. I'm just gonna grab Badlands. Pardon me. You got it. Uh, that is in play there. I probably should have another Scooby too. That's my bad. You got lots of scoozy hits now. Yo. My Vampire Hex Mage was your anti scooze technology, but I had to pitch it because the other card in my hand is pretty good right now. Uh oh. I don't like hearing that. Would you like to cut? Yeah. All right. Untap. Untap. Draw. What do you do? Oh, yeah, you. Oh, yeah, you. Neat. Uh, this is the, the card I have in my hand. It's Krakus, which oh. answers exactly Questing Beast. Uh, I'm going to crew. Yep. Uh, I'm going to attack for three. Attack trigger. Draw. Sure. 
I'm going to discard this Occultist, which has Madness. Whoa, you got it. So I'm going to cast it for two. So instead of going to my graveyard, it goes to exile. So there's no, there's, I just want to make sure, there's no window for scavenging news there? No, I don't believe so. The way that Madness, the Madness zone works, or the way that the Madness, Madness has been re- uh, It goes straight into exile or something, work. right? I believe mm. that's how that works. No. Yeah, I'll double check. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's just right. Pharmacist right. judge in chat. Yeah. 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 All right. Great. So that's now in play. So yeah, I get in for three, and then I'm going to pass the turn. Sure. I'm going to eat two things. The two things. Gaining uh, two life. And I'll getting lose two one from off. One's up. Oh, okay. a pain so, land. Yeah. All right. Only one. Gaining one life. Very good. The vampire's letting a scavenging ooze into the graveyard is a very <laughs> bad scene. Yeah, it's not great, Paul. It's not great. Wasteland? Uh huh. Old Edgar Markov would not approve of that, I don't think. The answer to my answer. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, activate and bounce your questing beast. Sure. The same questing beast? Bold. Uh. All right, so give me a second here. How big is your scoos right now? Four. And how many creatures do you have in your graveyard? Three. <laughs> but only two green mana. <laughs> and two green mana. So it could get up to six. Um, this is a four three, so it could trade with Questing Beast, and then the scoos just gets out of control. Are you an answer to it? No, you aren't. Which is very rude, if I do say so myself. What if I just simply played two more vampires and took Questing Beast? Can I live that long? I have one vampire in hand. Suddenly realizing that Captivating Vampire has more text. Mm -hmm. Man, maybe there's a line for a second there where I wasn't supposed to block with air. Didn't even think about that. Um, We're at 15. I'm at 15. Might take 10 here. Honestly thinking about it. If I take 10, Ben's at 13, my crack back is for 1, 2, 8, 11? Don't. 2, 6, 9. All right, that's not lethal. Um, yeah, I'll trade with uh, Questing Beast. Okay. And then any effects before damage? It's an no, effect to exhale for this one. I wasn't looking at you, but yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. And you it has trample, so I take one from oh. Questing Beast 2? Does that trample? Nope. No trample. Okay. Just hard to block. It has it's so only, many, it it has so many keywords! Death, touch, and haste. All right, all right, I take four. Yeah. Right. Uh, it has Planeswalker trample. Yes. All right, untap, untap, untap. Draw for the turn. Oh, how very interesting. You could just grab a chair and come. Yeah, you want to <laughs> double up on table friend duty? It's okay. Oh, walk around. He got. We got this. We got this. Yeah. All right. Wheeler is uh, circling the tables, trying to. Catch a glimpse into oh, this game. He's just excited for Highlander. Yeah. You don't need to be so formal. I have... <laughs> it's okay. We can hang out together. <laughs> I have two legendary creatures. Yeah! <laughs> I have two legendary creatures I'm contemplating here, but I don't want to die to Berserk. All right, I think the answer then is I play Kalidus. Yeah, that seems good. Mm. Kalidus is always the answer. But then... I don't know if I can crew or not. Because if I crew, I might have to pitch, and that just gives more scoos fuel. Maybe I just trundle in for five? Yeah, I hit you for five, Ben. You got it. All right. Pass. I love how much just, will, just the... I only eat. have one. One, and yeah. I'll eat my, my hex drinker. All right. Just so the I'll anticipation of Berserk. Whatever. Warps the game yeah, so much. If you know there's Berserk in a deck, <laughs> then every block you're like, is this is this the turn I die to Berserk? I don't know 
What's in my deck again? <laughs> Oops. What's in my deck again? Right, because you've got that green sun, of course. Mm -hmm. So green sun for up to six mana? Yeah. God, well, I can find literally anything. Um... Uh, there's some confusion about life total. The uh, Waterlogged Grove costs a life every time you want to make green, yeah. so it net zero on the scavenger yeah. use. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. For everything? Or just for three? Yeah, we'll go for everything. All right. Yeah. And we're losing one life here, right? All right, let's see. There's cards that just win. I mean, right? I can save you. The, there are no sixes. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh. It goes from five well, then give yourself one. Give yourself one mana back. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no six drops in this. Let me untap this one. Uh, no? Okay. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. All right. Yeah. Fives do enough. Um. Fives do enough. He says. Let's see. Uh, that's pretty good. Um. So, like the two creatures I know that have haste in your deck are Timber Mare and Questing Beast. Mm -hmm. but there could be more because green. Ooh. Well, maybe I should have done it in a different way. Yeah, is this a green ball lightning deck? Oh my god. There's no groundbreaker. Oh, god, okay. groundbreaker would be so spicy. I have to settle for Timber Mare. Timber Mare is pretty good, too. Are those from the same set? Yeah, they were. It's incredible that Planar Chaos still offers us so much years mm. later for this archetype, right? Probably still one of my favorite sets. Well, Planar Chaos a great is so set. Cool. Not yeah. the cards that I thought I loved would be it. in here. Damnation. Um, what's that one black mana? Uh, what's it called again? They exile a card from a graveyard, but it has split second. Extirpate. Ex extirpate. Yeah. Yeah. The gift that keeps on giving. Yeah. Yeah. So this is one of those tutors that I might just be dead to, which I'm here for. I think this is the one. That's a good one. <laughs> that is a good one. Yeah. Oh, no, they're all looking at it. <laughs> oh. That's definitely what I already get. Oh, Wolf here. Really? Aviar Standout. This is a card that, that has been... Library. Oh, that's what it does. Oh, right. That has been in and out of Highlander decks for quite some time right now. Soul Bond makes something enormous, eh? So I'll do to that. Uh, Scoos is a 10-10, right? Yikes! Yeah, it is. All right. Wolf and Scoozy sitting in a tree. The Scoos versus Vampires. Do, 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 so do, yeah. do, do. that's Wolf here is an 8-8, Scoos is a 10-10? Is that how Currently, that yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's right. Oh, and you still have one green mana, which means I can't block for and take one, go to one and swing back for Xaxes, which makes me sad. Uh, yeah. So I have to... Well, goodbye, Kalidus. Mm -hmm. Thanks for showing up. <laughs> I want to. I want to uh, watch the buddy cop movie with Wolfair, yeah. Silverheart, and uh, scavenging, scavenging ooze. ooze. Honestly, oh. me too. Sure. Okay. I'm yeah. Well, I mean, one. if I don't block, I die. I thought you were gonna screw the. Oh, that's an option. Oh, that's a way better idea. Ah, damn it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks, dude. All right, I'll. Uh, well, you I'll... did block it, but yeah. that's okay. All right, all right, sure. Uh, so I will choose not to draw and discard. I think. Maybe I do want to do that. No, I'll draw and discard. Let's see what happens. So I'll draw, and I'll discard this Aether Vial. Okay. Okay. Can so, I take back my Wolf Fear grab then, too? I'm sorry, I'm is that not kidding. cool? I'm just kidding. Oh, I thought when you volunteered it, yeah, you were no, saying, like, you could do this instead. Yeah. No, 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 go ahead. Yeah, okay. <laughs> sorry. No, I'm just, I'm just giving you shit. Yeah. All right, and then draw. Hmm. You have an 8-8. Eight 8-8s eight. Eight are scary. Hmm. I've got the world as a vampire stuck in my head on auto repeat, which is kind of funny. So if I sit with everything, I end up just throwing a creature away, which is kind of awkward. Um, but I can get in and get you down to three, which is not good enough to kill you. Alexa, play bullet with butterfly wings. I like that I very deliberately could have attacked with Bloodgast and played the land first, which is also incorrect. Maybe. 
Yeah. Well, I mean, you can bring it back. You hit with the scoos, but I don't know. Just like leaving the option up is probably better there. Uh, I think I can take you to one, and then I die, which is admirable. Wait, maybe I just maybe I just rush through. Maybe I do get there. I attack with everything. Lock Kalidus, go to one. Yeah. Yeah, because I have an onboard trick if you don't block Kalidus. Yeah. So I gain four life because of the Lord. I deal mm -hmm. five damage to you. Mm -hmm. uh, I cast this Anye. Mm -hmm. I get a blood token. And I pass. I will eat Kalidus. Yeah. All right. Ben goes to two. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll play this primal, right? Oh, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Let's go to game two. Sure, yeah. Heck yeah, what a top deck. Exciting stuff, yeah. I wonder if I was supposed to clear the way with Inquisition first. Before the before the turn with the Scoos, when I like sequence right. stuff out. Mm -hmm. oh. Neat. Yeah, it, interesting um, choices for you, obviously. Like the, especially with the Captain, Captain being bad for decision. Of whether or not to just take some damage early, um, it's the kind of thing where I think because five is such a large number. Yeah, you think it's out of reach, so you don't even consider it, right? Right. Yeah. I'm gonna take the play here. There you go. Right. Let's okay. do it. Uh oh, uh, land? Hey, never didn't have it. All right. I have a hand with lands and spells. Good luck to you, my friend. You're on the, pl mm. on the play here, bud. Uh, I'm on the play. You're, I lost. You'd be on the play. I'm sorry. That's okay. Okay. I wanted oh, to make wait, sure that on. I wanted to make sure that you had Ben's permission to be yeah, on the play. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You sure. gonna keep? Yeah. Let's do it. Good luck to you, buddy. All right. First time in the whole game, I'm actually going to lead with a hand attack. I'll Show me what you got. Crap. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> ben concede. Did you keep greedy? Let's see. It's Let's not see. really a greedy keep, it's just a mediocre keep. So I have uh, Snookered Forest, Bayou, Mita Vault, Yavamaya, Tireless Provisioner, Blossoming Defense, Timberman. Uh, God, I think I hit the Tireless Provisioner. Exactly. All right, I got some time. All right, yeah. I'm down to 18 and I pass. Watch out, Land that World's incoming. Is, that horse yeah. is going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> that horse could kill me. Oh, that well, horse is scary. On the flip side, uh, I'm going to play Bayou into yep. uh, this sick top deck. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Go ahead. All right, untap, draw. I felt bad for a second about calling it. I'm like, oh no, I called it. Maybe we won't get it now. <laughs> uh, I'm going to uh, shorty crack that for a fetch land. Mm -hmm. And sh shorty for shortcut, you know. And I'm going to play this unpronounceable highborn. And uh, what is this magic card? Class three highborn. highborn. The totally normal Zendikar era oh, neat. Yeah. black red vampire. That's cool. Card. What a, what a weird yeah. flex for everyone else in the room saying they can pronounce the card. Ooh, uh, pass. Just all right. Say all the letters. Yeah, in I just a row. played standard back then. I played standard back then too. Vampires wasn't a thing. Everyone was too busy playing Scape Shift and Top Deck or, and uh, Cobblade. <laughs> yeah. All right, Mute Vault. All right. Pass. Oh, I didn't get horsed. Okay. Like, it's a one four more mana. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was three yeah. and it had echo for four. No, no. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. <laughs> is it a four and has echo for six? Is that it? Or is Untap. It? Draw for echo the turn. Echo is pretty steep, actually. But. Um, okay. Okay. Got another land here. Marsh Flats. And I'm going to find... Let's get the Rav Duel this time. And hit ourselves for two life. He had time. <laughs> but now he's doing the work that I needed to That's get. That's right, yeah. <laughs> Every one of these fetch lands is one point closer to horse doom. But can he pronounce Asbaran and Mardika Dystina Koldekar? Everyone around here can pronounce that, unfortunately. Except for me! Oh, I'm sorry. I never bothered okay. trying uh, to learn. Everybody can pronounce I'm sorry. the word. I mean, sure, yeah, sure can. can pronounce. Not yeah. the whole PPR, the, I thought yeah. we all made it. Literally, made the it only reason it. I can do it is because of the Commander Deck Tech video that I did ah. on it. And it was because for a good 15 minutes, I sat in a chair while just Graham practiced. pronounced it at me multiple times, and I just had to like repeat it. It was like oh. a men who stare at goats like mm. scenario. Do you want to cut? Uh, I guess what? it's like we had those writing things for fun. I've got, I got felt this really like the whole team was there. Because there was a lot of planeswalker. Yeah. It was just the three of us. All right, yeah. I'm going to kill your elf and then... I'm going to float. 
um, pass the turn. I thought it was because right. we were all theater. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. I'm going to attack yeah. you as well. <laughs> okay, I. so I was floating yeah, 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 yeah. this, yeah. Uh, and I was going to animate yeah. Mutavolt then with it. Um, yeah, so that's a 2-2, two -two, and this is also a 2-2. Two -two. Yeah. Um, I know, I'm just... Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fair. Yeah, I'll kill that. Yeah, pass. I don't know if that was worth, but maybe. Wait, is that the one no, that gives no, it a plus? Just oh, that's that snake skill? Oh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Yeah, maybe that was a mistake then. Oh, that's fine. Let's go. Guy's Cradle. This land, what is in the land? Um, land Elza Deep Shadow. Yep. Uh, Animate Mutavolt yep. and hit Liliana for two. Yep. Pass to you. Untap. Draw for the turn. I have this Voldaren Estate, which is also very spicy. It's mm, the, that's a new the, one. Yeah, the new tribal vampire land that can also tap to make blood for the number of vampires I control. Uh, I'm going to start by plusing one to shoot your elf. Yep. Uh, and then I'm going to pay one to unearth my vampire. You got it. And then I'm going to pay one to cast this other vampire, Valentine, the Dean. You got it. I don't know why they let a vampire be a dean of a department at, you know, that's wizard that, school. That's pretty messed up that you would imply that he couldn't be a dean. Wouldn't the dean eat the yeah. students, though? Like, don't vampires hunt Not the people? vampire students. I don't know. Yeah. Like... Okay. All right. You know what? Stand corrected. I apologize. <laughs> I apologize. I'll take the L on that one. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that they inherently have to eat everybody. All right. Uh, pass. Okay. Maybe in maybe in the lore there's good vampires. Maybe. Who would be like a better professor to teach the vein? <laughs> Sorry. It's true. Uh, that's fair. Right? That's Once fair. you've established that the vein is going to be in like an area of study, then, yeah. yeah, you pretty much have to get a vampire. Horse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Not horse. Not horse. Horse. Yeah, I, yeah. I tap all your stuff and kill Lily. Oh, man. All right. Goodbye, Lily. Thoroughbred of sin. Pass. All right. Untap. Untap. Yavamai is a good land. A wooden, yeah. It's like a wooden horse. Oh, you mean like the Trojan horse? Like there's a bunch of guys the inside isn't it? Making anything no, no, it no. does with the power of Yavamai. Chat, don't make yeah. us put the overlay on. Don't make <laughs> us put the overlay on. We'll do it. Don't we'll do it. Tap the side. We got like 17 <laughs> levels of judge in here and in chat. If you think you saw a mistake yeah. and a judge doesn't say it first, you're probably wrong. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, I mean, I don't want it just to die. But by the power of other Yavamaya, <laughs> I tap for a green. I'm going to play Soren. Why do you have all these planeswalkers in your deck? I didn't get to see many of the other games. <laughs> all right, uh, Soren is going to plus one and is going to put a plus one, plus one counter on Valentine, who now has death touch until end of turn. If it's a vampire, it gets plus one, plus one. Yeah. So this is a menace lifelink death touch dean of vampire school. And I'm going to hit you for two. Taking Wait, it. that has trample? No, just haste. Okay, so I can I can chump block. And I say go. Lifelink, right? It's lifelink? Yes, so okay. I should gain two there. Cool. Echo! <laughs> Goodbye. Um... Literally never cast the Soren before. It's a good one. It's uh, neat. Th yeah. This was the, that. That's the Soren that I basically went to the on the back for Twitch Rivals. Right. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Oh hell yeah! Was, with uh, back when Vampire Aggro was a thing. That's why when we were talking about like uh, what White brings for it, I was like sure. a Danto Vanguard man. Right. A Danto right, right, Vanguard. Right. That card, that card is good. rules. Yeah. <laughs> that card is good. Um, okay. So if I do this. That was you in a wedge, right? It was. that one? Yeah. 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 I play this. Oh, the Dean Exiles creatures. Uh, just whenever any creature would oh. die? Yeah. If so a right, non-token yeah. creature an opponent controls would die, exile it instead. When you do, you may pay two. If you do, you get a pest. I am not paying two. All right. Okay. My mare is exiled. Um, okay, I'm going to instead... Uh, 
play Yorvo. No, oh, all right. this big man's uh, enters the battlefield four plus one plus one counters whenever another green creature enters the battlefield under your control put a plus one plus one counter on your vo oh cool just need to make sure I'm doing this in the right way it's like I guess actually I don't think there's any way you can attack right no I'm not planning on attacking I'm I'm trying to like sequence this so if I go that and that actually and then There's literally nothing. It's fine. Yeah. So I'll just uh, I'll tap like this. All right. Uh, and play Holland and pass. All right. Untap, untap, untap. Draw for the turn. Ooh. Fabled passage. Yeah. I'm going to plus one and put another plus one plus one counter on Valentine. Does it give it death touch? Yeah. For the turn? So it gives it, it death touch, yeah. and then if it's a vampire, it gets a plus one plus one counter. So menace, life link, and death touch. <laughs> And the goal is going to be to get in for three. Taking three minutes. All right, so you take three, I gain three, and then I'm going to pass. Okay. Right. This is a magic card that exists. Hmm. <laughs> Ben, don't reveal too much. <laughs> <laughs> right? You got it, though. Uh, uh... Dang, these magic cards that exist. <laughs> <laughs> right? Right. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, Not tired. That's a five drop. Yep. Okay. Oh! It's a weird one. Oh! Right there. It's a yeah. target. All right. Uh, okay. That has a lot yeah. of words yeah. on it. As long as oh. it isn't on the battlefield, it's an insect. Okay. Create a black insect token, and then mill a card. If an insect was milled, put a loyalty counter and repeat it. Sack a creature to destroy target creature. Oh, all right, all right. Come here, you want to? Um, a loyalty dice there. Yeah. You get a Yorvo trigger right. too. Does he get a Yorvo trigger? Is, does Isn't it enter it? as a creature? Plus one, right? Oh, as long as it's not on, on the battlefield. Yeah. 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 So it enters as a planeswalker, if you, right? If you make the token. Yeah. If you make a token, you get a trigger. Hmm. I'm gonna go to combat. Yeah. I'm going to swing its sword. I would like to block. Yeah, you got it. All right. Uh, and then I'm going to finish it off with a lightning bolt. Sure. Um, and then when my vampire dies, I'm going to pay a black to make you lose two life, and I'll gain two life. Sure. I am now Heckmend. Yes. Um, I am also the same. Hmm. Minuses that you minus can three pop. put a vampire from my hand directly onto the battlefield. You also have the ability to lightning heal like something, right? Yeah, but I have to sack a vampire to do it. Right. Right. Sorry. Sorry. Did you also get a you get a Valentine trigger for Yorvo if you want it? Oh, I'm not, I'll actually use it that time. Yeah, when Yorvo gets token. exiled, I'll make a pest. Okay. Yeah, having a, a one-one pest token actually seems totally legit. Hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Nice catch. It was chat. Does that change things? Maybe. Maybe I should make a bug. Maybe I should just kill Soren. Oh, Sack here. Um... Mm -hmm. If you make a, blug, a bug, you can double block my creature next turn when I go to clear your planeswalker. Or you just clear my planeswalker with your yeah. planeswalker. Oh, I'll, I'll make a bug. All right. Boink. 
Go ahead, buddy. Um, and then you also mill a card, right? Is that right, what it does? yes. Yeah. And if it if is an insect, insect. I do it again. It's a prismatic <clears throat> vista. All right. uh, I'm going to crack my fabled passage for a mountain here. Yeah. Or, no, 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 I'm going to do another swamp. Another swamp. Oh, no. Oops. Goodbye. Goodbye, half the library. Uh, thank you. We will remember that half. I actually would have liked that prismatic vista. Oh, right. Fetch land for uh, clue value. Yeah, yeah. That's totally fair. I really want to make a deck. This is Wheeler's fault. That's bug, um, like artifact tokens that uses Academy, but also like Tireless Tracker, Tireless Provisioner, old, uh, old, old Rutstein. Old Rutstein <laughs> is yeah. another one. Well, there's a lot of um, new ones that came out in Modern Horizons 2 that are just if there's a token. Yeah, exactly, the right? Like Which seems as cool as heck, yeah. Fey offering, yeah. all this investment. Fey offering. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah. All right. Oh, we're going to go greedy. Craven inspector. Academy manufacturer, totally. Fey offering is interesting. All right, untap. I'm going to draw for the turn. Uh, speaking of prismatic vista. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I was just really hoping it wasn't the vampire. Yeah, uh, I'm going to plus one again. Yep. Do you want a black one? Yes, please. I'll trade you. So that goes to seven. Um, this is now a four, four. I'm going to try and kill your planeswalker. All right, they will. Everybody will trade. So uh, non-token. So I can still pay two yeah, when that dies. This will get exiled. Yeah. That gets exiled. I'll make a second pest. Yep. You got. Time shifted this, so yeah. And fancy. I'm going to say go. Okay. There's a world in which maybe I'm supposed to be making blood tokens and like pitching these lands, but it's. Mm -hmm. I mean, didn't you only just get to the mana to do it? Yeah, well, okay. I could have done it for three if I hadn't lost both my vampires. Oh, I see, I see. So right, there's right. like, again, just a, another world in which I had played completely differently. This lady. Mm. Oh God! I'm about to say I'm sure being in top deck mode against the uh, against the mono green deck <laughs> here is a really happy and safe place to be. Um, uh, sorry, do you put the uh, oh Nissa. Nissa wants to be back on the card reader? Or no, what? just oh, on, okay. on the board. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, right, yeah. right, right. Your board's over right. where the yeah. tape is, right? right, right. Um, I'm going to make a plant. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I'm going to sack a plant and shoot your uh, yeah. I make a plant and then I sack a plant to kill. Sorry. Oh God! The planeswalkers shall inherit the earth. Okay. Uh, and it, I'll this is like, pass. Uh, excuse me, could you not do this? <laughs> uh, Here's a plant. I'm gonna yes. pay a life. I'm trying to go, grow a community here. Yeah. Yeah. Super Golgari friends. To get another swamp. Oh, you've got a mute vault though, which means I can't even clear your your planeswalker. Yes. Unless I have a, unless I rip a kill spell off the top. So I'm gonna be honest, I've been a little underwhelmed with the performance of Vampire so far tonight. But we'll see. I mean, is that white you're missing? It could be. Sure. Honestly, there's a world in which maybe Wait. I take a lot of like the three and four drops and just replace them with super aggressive like one and two drops and stuff. Yeah, uh, maybe. I mean, Legion's Landing is hype, right? Yeah. Yeah, Legion Landing, Adanto Vanguard. One of three Ed white Edgar black. From the new set. The four mana Edgar. Ooh, ooh. Uh, make a blood. It's on ya. Pretty spicy. Pretty spicy there. Six mana, make a blood. So I could. Oh, is that the activated ability of the land? Yeah, I'm okay. sorry. Yeah. No, no. I, I was just. I. I have never actually gone up against this land yet. Yeah, five and tap, create a blood token. It costs one less for each vampire you control. Uh, uh, so far, I only have these pests, and they're everywhere. I hope they don't eat my blood. Oh, Dread Pirate Wesley's asking if you gained for lifelink. Possibly last turn we missed it. Gain for lifelink? It just make you lose a life from Prismatic Vista, but maybe you're supposed to be at past 20 for that last attack with Valentin. Uh, I think I'm good. Okay. I think it's long enough now that we just leave it to. Sure. I'm, uh, I'm happy with adding an extra three. Just not sure but if I, don't. I got it or not, yeah. For the four there. Okay. So the question I have to ask myself, is it worth it to throw a pest away to do one loyalty? Mm -hmm. And I don't think it is. I think I just pass. Okay. Top deck wars. Top deck wars. I bum, 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 would like bum, to make bum, a plant. Bum, 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 bum. Yep. I would like to make an insect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a we got a win con here. He's milling his deck out. 
uh, I mailed Garrick. Oh god. So we could have kept the Super Golgari friends going. Oh uh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's okay, you're just one closer to Nissa who shakes the earth now or whatever. Where the plane tokens go? The other pile? Mm. Oh, the plane pile goes deeper. <laughs> 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 All right, um, cool. Yeah. Go. One card in hand? One card in hand. I'll double block. You got it. All Great. right. Now I gain two, two life. life. All right. I have no board. You have two planeswalkers. This is fine. Land <laughs> <laughs> uh, go. All right. Untap. Untap. Heart of the cards. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right. He put a neat one in his deck, obviously. <clears throat> Tilt it just a little bit for. Mm. Oh. How many are we delving? So I got this Bloodthirsty Adversary. Oh, that's a which good Which is a one. heck of a top deck. Yeah. Um, and so it costs two, and then I can pay. Okay, well, I'm one draw. I can only do it once. So I can then hit. Okay, this has a lot of words on it. When it enters the battlefield, you may pay two and a red any number of times. When you pay this cost one or more times, put that many plus one plus one counters on the adversary, then exile up to that many target instant and or sorcery cards, mana value three or less, from your graveyard and copy them. You may cast any number of the copies that will pay their mana cost. So I'm going to cast this and kick it once, I guess. Mm -hmm. Or let's do yeah. that and then for colorless. And then my targets are... You need to have two red though, don't you? Yeah. Do you have to oh, I have to tap two right. Yeah, so I'll I have. mean, you could. Oh, maybe you can with the, the water and safety. You're paying one life. Uh, so let's cut the colorless and let's see this untap. There we go. So you like that? Okay. I like that. So unearth brings back uh, a vampire, which might not be enough right now. Or I can just lightning bolt the clear grist. Just bolt grist. Yeah, and I think that's the way to do it. That seems good. So yeah, I'll bolt clear grist, and then this, this is now a right. three three mm -hmm. with haste that's going to attack Nissa. Uh, exile that. Oh. Sure, I'll block. Heck yeah. And single. Keep. No. No? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, six. You have another plant. I got another plant. God, you're going to draw five. Really cool of Red to get a Snapcaster. Yeah, it's very nice of it. Now here's my top deck. Oh, God! <laughs> Is it dead? So it's for, for six. Four? Oh, yeah. uh, for, huh. for four. Yes, four? sorry. So it fights it. Yeah. <laughs> Bug! No! Oh. All right, take one. Be down is real. Top deck All wars. Right. Mm. Uh, one, I'm going to sack the blood, pitching this completely useless Moxin. Ugh. Ugh. Don't yeah. need that anymore. Uh, draw a card. Okay. Do you, ever, do you ever think when they did like play testing for the blood tokens that they were thought at some point someone's going to discard, discard a, a mox? mox. Yeah, <laughs> didn't even take a yeah. month. Yeah. Uh, all right, you're at thirteen, which means my blood gas doesn't have haste, but it is angry. Not yet. Not yet. Um, scared to go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mox. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Wait. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh man, I was scared. I was scared. I saw the face. I'm like, God, I'm dead, aren't I? Uh, yeah. Top deck war. Yeah! <laughs> Fatal push. All right, all right. Oh, man. Uh, make it a, another Make it another blunt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Oh, Fatal push and the Hydras are annoying. Oh. Yeah, tough but fair. You only have to push one head over the side, right? <laughs> yeah. And then it just drags, oh, yeah, it drags yeah. all the rest oh. of them down, right? Oh. 
top deck war war. What is this? This is Vine Witch Coven. It's a three mana three three with menace. Whenever you gain life, you may pay a black. If you do, return target card from your graveyard to your hand. Target creature card. Sick. So maybe I should have kept those pests around, but I think it was time to clear it. And uh, I fight Nissa. Plant. Well, you know <laughs> what? Actually, I'll insect. All right. Pass. Do I just ultimate her? Oh. Draw oh. five oh. cards, oh. gain five oh. life. Oh. 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 oh, 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 it's no oh. longer top deck war if you got five cards. That's true. Yeah. All right. right. So gain five, draw five. Top deck bullying. Man, there's so many cards in my hand right now. No fair. Uh. <clears throat> well, I will. That was a sick, uh, you mean I gain one life. <laughs> <laughs> no, my threat! <laughs> all right, all right. Um, I'm going to play this Tarmogoyf. Yeah, oh god, it's, yeah, okay. Uh, big, probably. Uh, I mean, Planeswalker artifact, yeah, sorry. Planeswalker artifact, instant. instant sorcery land. Yeah. Creature. Planeswalker. Creature. So six, seven, I think. Has there been an enchantment? Is there an enchantment is the only question. Or a tribal. There's no enchantment and there's no tribal. Okay, nope. six, seven. Six, seven. Cool. It's a big goif. Uh, tap for three. Well. <laughs> Mad myth. All right, all right, all right. I'm taking a bajillion next turn. Go. Top deck war. Mm. Uh, I think <laughs> you're 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 the only one on the top deck. That's yeah. so exciting. Yeah. With the tap. Would you see me mana. tap six? You're like, oh no! Right. I, I should have slow rolled the day. <laughs> I should have slow rolled it. Yeah, I'm not playing Sorn Markov. He is a vampire. Have. Yeah. Oh I don't know god. How much, I don't oh know god. Hopefully, would be here. Big mammoth. Uh, right. so it's a five five. Yeah. I'm gonna crack it again. Hit me for a million. So it's a twenty one. You hit me for seven. No, that's not how math works. Uh, what's seven? The thirteen. Yeah. I mean, let's just. Yeah. Shorthand it all. Yeah. While you do that, DM. Yeah. Uh, I take. I go to eight. Okay. Yeah. Six plus seven. Yeah. Thirteen. Second, second main, I play Ramanap Excavator. Oh no! All right. Oh my God! You can do it next turn. All right. All right. All right. All right. Top deck war. Wait, it's not. Even... It's not top deck war anymore. I mean, it's top deck surge. This is. The, you're literally experiencing how I felt after this. The skull clamp cometh. Which land do I discard? Uh, not the fetch. Okay. Right. That was for the blood token. Okay. I mean, the fetch, yeah. I mean, it lets you do blood gas multiple times, I guess. Yeah. You do have one of those buddies that in might there. happen. Blood gas. Uh, did I take a ping from the... Vampire. Artist? Gotta come, yeah. Okay. All right, I have a board. I should what? Down for spells that I play. Watch yourself. Uh, pass. Cordial Vampire is sick, though. Yeah. Oh, man, blood gas can't even block the trade to make my board bigger. No! <laughs> I didn't even need it. <laughs> so large. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, Does Mammoth have trample? No. Oh, one. No, one have trample. No, have trample. One small consolation. I can swing with everything. Uh, I blocked so the how, Mammoth. How big is the Mammoth? Currently a 5-5. Five, five. Five, five. But it can be a 7-5. Seven, seven. I blocked the Mammoth. Okay. So you take nine, eight, six, and yeah. two. It's like eight. Oh, I thought it was bigger than that. Yeah, I think it's just that's a six. also yeah. lethal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, was it? Oh, pff. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> GG. It's okay. Oh, uh, some reason I thought you were eight. at thirteen. Oh, I don't know. No, it was weird. Yeah, GG. Yeah, uh, we call that exactly. What was on the top? Polluted Delta. Oh. All right. Wow. I, 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 need oh my I really God. wanted to know what your top card was in case I missed you gaining four life. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's something about the mammoth having 
the second layer <coughs> of tusks. Oh, yeah. Mm, yeah. In case of we'll multiple slide over a bit triggers. Tusks. Yeah. So, welcome. Uh, All right, everybody. Our good friend Wheeler. Let's over get here. Uh, Wheeler in behind us. That is going to do it tonight. For Canadian Islander, our little free-for-all, you know, we laughed, I cried, the vampires didn't get up to all that much, but that's okay. The brooks were donnied. Everybody have a good time? Right. Yeah. Try not to swear, it's impossible <laughs> to that word. Everything, yeah, everything that comes to Wheeler's mind is filthy. Well, yeah. you say Donnie Brook, the first yeah. word I want to say yeah. is... No, I get it, I get it, I know, that's right. That's right. Well, we had a good time, though. All right, let me wrap this up. Friends, we appreciate you watching. Thank you so, so, so much. A reminder that this show is brought to you by you with your support of the Patreon over at patreon.com slash loading ready run. Literally couldn't do this without you. This, you keep the lights on. Literally. You keep us happy. And also, the Friday Night Paper Fight is brought to you by Card Kingdom. Cardkingdom.com slash LRR. It's an affiliate code. It lets us know that we sent you. And if you ask nicely for a button, you'll get a button that says, I foretold you so which is uh, very clever. So yeah, Card Kingdom is great. Buy your cards from Card Kingdom. That's the slogan. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, thanks for watching good. on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, shout out to the YouTube. Oh, right. Hey, we're really close to 100,000 Twitch followers, and it'd be really cool if we could get that this year. So if you're new to the channel, if you enjoyed all of these shenanigans, and we do a whole bunch of other really cool stuff, consider following the channel. It's free for you, and we appreciate it a whole bunch. And speaking of great things on this channel, Paul, what do we got coming up? Coming up on, uh, so nothing on uh, Saturday, but coming up on Sunday, we got a Cameron and Ian Christmas, Ooh. a loading ready run holiday tradition where uh, Cam and Ian will uh, sit, they sit. They will sit there. <laughs> <laughs> and you can too. Uh, and no, uh, no Rhythm Cafe and uh, no... Uh, is this your card on Sunday? But then on Monday, play it forward. Uh, Kathleen's going to be playing the Shin Megami Tensei 5 some more. And then uh, Monday evening, we have uh, some Jackbox on Crossing the Streams. If you didn't see uh, Graham's update, uh, uh, YouTube update, we are, at least for December, we are moving the uh, Crossing the Streams to Monday. So we can continue doing that while also having AFK on Wednesday. Um, probably in the new year, we'll be uh, getting some more Dice Friends things, but we didn't have any lined up for December, so we decided to do it this way. We'll be figuring out somewhere for crossing the streams to go probably uh, in the new year, but anyway. Uh, and then on Tuesday, it's 9 o'clock. Uh, Serge Uno and James are playing the Minecraft. Uh, you're still uh, frolicking in the kifs, cliffs and caves. It's a very good update. I just love that it's called, like, I think you mentioned it too, that it's called Caves and Cliffs. And just like. Part two. That's the best part. Caves and Cliffs, part two. Yeah, well, it's just like, <laughs> we added caves. And it's and like, cliffs. wait, yeah. we played this whole time without caves and just cliffs. Solid ground. <laughs> yeah. All the way down. This is actually like yeah. a very cool update. We're on a server. With a bunch of friends, which is something we haven't done in a while. Typically, nine o'clock has been just the three of us doing mm -hmm. things. And last week, all we did is ran around and helped people. Cool. Yeah, we just like found a bunch of odd jobs that people were busy for, and it just felt really good to be like, oh yeah, Joe Kim made this farm and ran out of time, so we just like went and like cleaned up and put stuff away. It was really, really, really neat. That's nice. Yeah, it's been real yeah. feel good. Yeah, I, I mean, when we were doing checkpoint and stuff, I, you know, a little disappointed that part one of the caves and cliffs update wasn't the caves, and then they did the cliffs in part two. But that's how it goes. Uh, and then got uh, talking sim where uh, Cameron and Corey are gonna be talking about uh, games. I don't know what game they're gonna be doing, but it'll be great. How about let's know? What are you doing on let's know next week? Uh... We keep thinking we're close to finishing this game that we're playing uh, called In Sound Mind. It's it's quite fun. There's a talking cat in it, and you can pet the talking oh. cat, and it's there's a whole level of other weird when you can pet a cat that can talk back at you. Uh, but it was... It's, it's, it's that, been, I mean, that sounds great. Not horrifying, but great. Yeah, well, Maybe it's, it is horrifying It's horrifying in a different way, Paul. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, no, it's been, it's been good. Yeah, and uh, I think we probably got a stream or two more of it. Um, and then, yeah, there's been a lot of, like, weird horror games. 
uh, that have come out since we started this one, so I'm excited to try it out. There's one that takes place in a burger joint, and you make burgers. Out of people? I don't know, maybe. Haunted burgers? Yeah, I don't know. It looks uh, it looks really weird. It's a disturbing one, yeah. Maybe it's just the horror of making burgers for yeah. eight to ten hours a day, <laughs> five yeah. to six days a week. Yeah. I tried to shoot the cat. Man. The crushing yeah. fear of capitalism. What? Yeah. I uh, probably uh, have a good reason. Yeah, she's very judgmental. <laughs> oh, yeah. Also, I think she's a figment of my imagination. Oh, uh, okay. You definitely shoot that. Yeah. <laughs> So, lots of great stuff uh, coming up. LoyalMeRun.com slash live is the place to go to see the full schedule and link to the Google Calendar, all that good stuff. Uh, now, let's thank the uh, awesome people who subscribed during this stream. Want to start us off, Ben? Sure. Uh, thank you so much to Northern Mercury for a four-month reset. Welcome back. Oh, Wolfgang Cloud, 91 months. Welcome back. You want to thank Time to Fry? Hey, thank you, Time to Fry. I don't know who that is, but they sound fine. <laughs> <laughs> Imitation Crab, welcome to the channel. I hope you always have the Mox Simon on turn one. Silver Bramble. <laughs> we can do this in sync, because we're in a room. I felt good, Serge. Thanks I felt really good. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm really excited there. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the little... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, little wheeler oh, yeah. Ah, yeah. very good. Hey, yeah. Sarah Markoff and Lord Duran, thank you for those years of got, subs that you've I got done. very emotional there. I don't know why that broke no, me so much. No, that was great. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, hey, yo, Captain Wolf. Okay, we can do that and Captain Wolf. bring me back to the Nelson, your turn. Hey, <laughs> yo, insane turn. cat, 6 MTG. <laughs> I don't know these calls. Forward, march. <laughs> You were clearly yeah, not a part yeah. of the DDR oh, scene. No, no, no. Run along with Captain Jack. Oh, did I know? Did hey, and now there's Cypher as a brand new sub. Welcome. Yo, look at all these new subs. Heck yeah. Aye, yeah, aye, yeah, aye. You're my little <laughs> Papa Jeff, uh, who's a brand new subscriber. Welcome to the channel. Um, combination style. I don't remember any of the other ones. <laughs> what the bus. Welcome back from the 1950s. Da 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 dee da Cammy C. 22, <laughs> it's been 12 months. There we go. Hey, uh, yo, Charlie, thank you for those two gift subs. Appreciate you. Because every time we touch, I eat damp rice for 83 months. Oh, no. Thank you. Don't do when that. When I grow up, I want to be. <laughs> Our skins does not rhyme with the sea. <laughs> Sit down if you're under 50 to plank. I've been gone since a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, infinity to plank? And thank you for the 1,050 biddies. From Lirazel, Nakano Abel, and oh. Christ Antos Nice. I think, the, I think the stream gave me more brain damage. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. Loading <laughs> great run. Twitch will do Giving that. Giving you yeah. more brain damage. What's Twitch? <laughs> <laughs> what year is it? Who are you people? Yeah. Hey, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Have a beautiful night, and we'll see you next time. We're going to take Grandpa home. Take care of your brains. Do you know my wife? <laughs> Her name's Borat. That's wheel. <laughs> <laughs> That's wheel.